I'm not generally satisfied by the pace at which the world dispenses engagement. So on a conceptual level, I've always been obsessed with theme parks. The idea is to create a controlled environment, allowing you to wander through and effortlessly create an experience of streamlined instant gratification fun. <gasps> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, a podcast on the internet. What a novelty. I am the best guy ever and we're joined today by Munchy Wears Tiny Hats. It's me, Legoland. Here I am <laughs> before you today, the most decadent king of all. I'm here to spread my wealth and, and tell you about the, the most <laughs> wondrous lands. Famous Sonic YouTuber hypocrite. I was gonna say Legoland, you <laughs> bitch. What? <laughs> I love Legoland. Oh, not as much as me. We've also got the Davu. Hip bone skelly crits wild ride was a really good value. <laughs> and Monkey Jones. We're not even a minute in, and I already have to pee. Oh no! Oh, just do what I do, bottle, dude. My friend. Just do what Adult I do. Diapers? Just go on Adult air. Diapers? Just, just pee into your own mouth. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pee Munch into the bottle that I'm drinking this. out of, and then just keep drinking out of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's it's called terrible, Second man. Harvest. That, that's that's a water, a water, <laughs> water, Second Harvest. Wow, that's that's good. <laughs> Is that a Paul Newman's iced tea brand? <laughs> yeah, <Second Harvest>? dude. <laughs> you know, I'm drinking right, Rolling Rock, so it probably wouldn't change the taste at all. Yeah, for Rolling Cock. Nate, what you know? is the PCP? You know? The PCP uh, is the most uh, uh, knuckle Advanced. whitening, uh, uh, earth shattering, uh, red screen pilled. exploding, red pilled podcast in the world about a bunch of internet creators who all came together because they had the perfect opinion when combined. They had the uh, perfect. Uh, there you Wait, go. do we introduce it's the show every episode now? Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, yes. that's yeah. nice. That's cool. Mm -hmm. well, These retards at home going. keep forgetting what the show is, and we have to remind them. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. So hopefully they they'll bake they'll it into their brains in. this time. Yeah. <laughs> so today, everybody, we're talking about uh, amusement parks. Oh, amusement oh, parks. Water parks. Water Bumper parks. cars. Roller coasters. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, the teacups. Cotton the tea candy cups. cups. Uh, getting molested by Armenian men who run the rides. Yeah. <laughs> now ride. we're talking. Circus tent. <laughs> the Dude, expensive grinding food. into your fucking feet until they bleed. That's true. Exactly. I don't think I've that's ever, my, that's my, my favorite never, part. The, okay, the great thing about amusement parks, I just want to say off the bat, is that you forget how painful just existing in, as a three-dimensional being is <laughs> until the end of the day after you just, you know, like you walk yeah. around, you you experience life, and then at the end of the day, you walk home and you're you're dead. You're dead, mm -hmm. it's great. Um, it's um, great. We, we should mention that we, were, we, we, we decided to do this after me uh, becoming infatuated mm -hmm. with a certain water park uh, <laughs> vlogger oh by the name God. of, yeah. of, of, yeah. of that's what, what is this? I am not privy to this meme. Uh, <laughs> there, there's no meme here. Cy released a, a water park vlog, and I was so enthralled by it, and specifically its thumbnail, and how literally ingenious it is, and how much I legitimately enjoyed it. I just want just to say, see water park vlogs constantly. We know we know Cy has a, has a kind of a weird predicament where his like subscribers don't all watch his videos. Let me tell you, Cy, if you want 100% retention, the world needs water park vlogs. Water park vlogs. Guys, let me make That's a deal. That's the best break. water park in the world. And seriously, Sai, that was great. Guys, I guarantee you, I can get Sai to give me that thumbnail without text on it if we want to use that as a thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> yeah. We should. <laughs> we, okay, idea, yeah, that, uh, yeah. You're you're only re you're already gonna see thumbnail because it's gonna be thumbnail you just clicked on. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Question: Since Sai is in the thumbnail, this episode is getting probably what fifteen hundred views max. I think that's how it works. Yeah, probably. probably. Hey, hey, but before we get too deep into the thing, let me let me read. Okay, so there's no amusement park uh, uh, entry, an urban dictionary. But what I did find was a was a disease called amusement park hangover. All right, so oh. so let me just read this to you. That feel, and this is just like I was talking about before. The feeling you get the day after going to an amusement park, particularly when you sp spend all day on intense rides. Symptoms include hoarse voice, headache, fatigue, and general pains. Uh, and then the description is not funny, so I'm not going to read it. Uh, so there you go. There you go. Okay. So that's where we're coming what from. What is our favorite amusement park? I got to say Disney World in fucking Orlando, California. Disney oh, World, no Nate, question. Nate, do yes. you remember? Do you remember this one time on Twitter 
where mm. um um I forget the exact context. Disney of it. World, Disneyland. We yeah, were arguing yeah, over we, it or something. We were arguing whether yeah. Disneyland or Disney World was the moon park that one of our fans was attending, and I defeated you right. in, in, in hand-to-hand combat. And you I humiliated did. you, and you and you officially on that day handed me quote all of your internets with a Z. <laughs> so uh, I am now uh, j- j- in PCP canon, in PCP lore. I'm objectively more powerful than Nate because I have all of his internets. So and right what, that, what that manifests is, is if you look at my 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 download speeds, they're struggling <laughs> yeah. to crank out 0.01 <laughs> kilobytes per second, whereas Munchie is just living in the lap of luxury, downloading all the teraflops you could possibly want in what, his what, fucking life. One day I'll get him back. What, whenever I One click day. on like a download link, I just hear like a punch sound effect because it's downloading so fast. <laughs> download download okay. 55 new mouse clickers. <laughs> That instant. All right, instant. Nate. Why is Disney World the best theme park other than yeah, all the propaganda? Yeah, that sounds like a shitty answer. Okay. Everybody right. knows we'll, we'll that. All right, we'll see. So, so I let me see. I I think I've been to, I don't know, maybe like uh, six or so amusement parks probably in my whole life. But but Disney World was definitely the most fun. Okay, but I'm sure a lot of it has to do as as I'm sure many of our stories will will involve the specific things that happened there and the situation that brought you there and the people that were there, et cetera, et cetera. So. When I was in high school, uh, but me and my and my older brother Ben, who you might know, uh, we Never both were me. in marching band, and our marching band was pretty what darn the good. Fuck? And yeah, I, I know it's taken a so start a weird start, but uh, we were in marching band. I played the clarinet. Ben played the saxophone, and fuck yeah. we were well loved amongst our people in in Massachusetts, what where, you know where the school where, was. Where did all and, that love go? <laughs> Well, basically, uh, our marching band was good enough where we were invited to Disney World to to participate in the march down the down the main avenue, and we all we all just we, uh, this would happen every single year. We would all get together, we'd we'd pack up our shit, and uh, we'd all go down to Disney World, and we'd just have a great time. And Did then you we go would... there to march during one of Disney World's gay days. Did you and Ben like have an experience mm-hmm. every year? <laughs> Do they allow gay people in Disney World? Oh, <laughs> they, they, no. That place they, is, that place they, is they, really no, gone no, to no, shit no, since well, I was there. Oh no, this isn't a meme. <laughs> They specifically have gay days, where like does that mean no no straight people are allowed? Is I, I, that what or it is? just meaning I mean I'm sure you can go if you're straight as long as you you know like you just have to suck a dick enough. on your way you know yeah. Yeah. as a courtesy yeah, yeah, as a courtesy but, but specifically so that yeah so that same sex couples can like come over and like hang out and make out without like you know it all the Christian kitties getting corrupted. Me? Okay, you know no, I, real I thing, think that's, real fucking thing. That, it's that's inclusion cool by all? exclusion. It's very popular. Yeah, separate but equal. That's that's kind of cool, <laughs> uh, you know. Issues aside, but my favorite thing about that is how mad Walt Disney would have been if he knew this. Yeah, was yeah. Going down, you know? he'd be missing really... out on all these orgies. He'd be like, "God damn it! Yeah. Why didn't you freeze my head like they said? I want in. <laughs> I didn't give the Nazis enough money." <laughs> so we'll see. That, that's that's the great thing. That's what I was going to say. The best thing about Disney World is that canonically is the place where the frozen Messiah Walt Disney's corpse lives right now, mm-hmm. and one day he will rise from the dead to save us all from the cuckoldry of modern life. So right. that's, you know, that's why I go down there once a year to pray to him. That's my Mecca. And uh, it's got the rock and roll roller coaster with Aerosmith, baby. So uh, hey, at, that's where I do most of my worship on fucking, that roller coaster. Like, like cool it would be if, if Walt Disney actually did get cured of death and he just came <laughs> back. Like, and that actually yeah, I mean, paid off. And then he, he had, like, the, the all of his... Um, uh, what do you call mm-hmm. them when you yeah, copyrights? All of his copyrights oh, will be yeah, extended yeah. for another billion years because now he's alive. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the only way. The law will be fucked. You that's know, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, Disney is just gonna like like the company's just gonna hire someone to act like Walt Disney. I'm like I'm I'm here now. Copyright. This is this is copyright now. Because since we since we asked them to extend it too many times, we're just gonna like reset the entire counter again. That's, that's well, gonna be like, the new uh, strat. S- silly old religious people who believe in souls and whatnot. Not even, you know, you have to be religious, but whatever. People who believe in souls think that, like, death is magical. But death oh, really shit. is, like, an engineering problem that we could one day solve. If Walt and, Disney uh, came back from the dead, I think Disney would have a, the company would have a really hard time readjusting to being, like, artistically motivated in, like, a personal way. They'd be yeah. like, Did I, that's, what, that's yeah. what it feels like to, like, have yeah, an idea. Say, I just, just the other day, I was watching some documentary about a guy who, like, uh, who used to work at Walt Disney. You may have heard called Disney Walt Disney. <laughs> I, I yeah. fucked up. I fucked up bad. Uh, mm-hmm. But he, uh, uh, like, he, he said this quote that I, is totally famous, but I just forgot, and he reminded me. It's that uh, Walt Disney's the guy who said that, like, we don't uh, uh, make art to make money. We make money to make art. So for him, it was all about just, you know, like, having the resources available to continue to make his craft. And, you know, who knows? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Jew hating aside, you know, you got to respect that. You got to respect that. Uh, I well, I respect that. him. That's, that's my Jew personal goal. 
Well, I don't know why you have to excuse that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Walt Disney famous for his Weagawa series. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> much beloved. Much yeah. beloved. Big Princess Tutu fan. <laughs> uh, I uh, Now, I, 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 too, love all things Disney. I'm a big Disney movie kind of guy, and I love uh, mm-hmm. Disney theme parks. However, I do not live on the disgusting, uh, rancid, fucking, like, like yellow-colored dick that is the East Coast of the United States. I we're, live on the, old money. the West we're Coast. We're old money. Yeah, yeah. O- you're new money. money. You'll never be one of us. You'll never be. <laughs> one Even though Disney specifically <laughs> made the other parks because uh, this is what I saw from their from mm. their uh, Disney World propaganda movies on the Travel Channel. It was like you know mm. back mm. in the '60s, the the ride over to get to Disneyland was filled with all these cheap chintzy hotels and di- diners and dives and shitty places and cheap smoke shops. And Disney was like, well, that's just a shitty way to get to my park. So he built other ones. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, the oh. ride into Disneyland is no longer like that. Law. Is that okay? Oh, right. Okay, I'm following. Uh, law. Uh, anyway, Disneyland is, from what I hear, just like shittier Disney World. But fuck <laughs> you. Uh, you don't even have the Magic Castle, you cuck. What, what are you, do you doing? Have, we have the Magic Castle. You got a cheap There's imitation. A it doesn't have Walt Disney's body frozen inside. Okay. It's not the real Magic Castle. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> okay. The best part about Disneyland is how they literally like emotionally mm. manipulate you in on every conceivable level, physical okay. and emotional. <laughs> uh, they they like they like have like like different smells that they emanate from their fucking carcasses. Ooh, yeah. They, like 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 ev- like every single restaurant has w- at least one dead body inside emanating uh, delicious <laughs> smells for you to delicious to, pheromones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've read this in a book, uh, in the game uh, game design book of lenses book by Jesse Shield, guy who worked at Disney. He was saying that when mm-hmm. they were making Disneyland, Walt Disney was like looking around, like you know, like pointing at people, like okay, go there, okay, that ride, put that one there, you know, that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Then sometimes mm-hmm. he would bend down on his knees and then kind of like hobble around a little bit. And people were like, why are you hobble on your knees? And he's like, oh, I, yeah. I gotta know what this park looks like from the perspective of a kid. And it's like, oh that. shit, that's, so yeah. cool. that's genius. That guy's in the fucking dirt. He's he's. You could have just gone into work. like a wheelchair or something, dude. Are you gonna like hop on a lady's back so you can see what it's like from a baby? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why How not just take two barrels be? of a shotgun and blow off your fucking calves, he's and then so you're selfish. you know a couple feet short? I know you really. Should he do he that. just he just under, he just doesn't understand the hardships. He needs to come. He needs to get this. serious. He needs to yeah. get serious about that shit. <laughs> get well, your fucking head in the game, Walt Disney. Jesus Christ. What I was gonna ask is, I mean, so the Undertaler, right? The Undertale is a, <laughs> he's a staple. He's, he's a staple of the of the Disneyland experience, as uh, I understand it. Every, every time I go there, and I he, want you know, you know, I think I'm gonna go, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Adventureland. I'm gonna get on Splash Mountain. Then I think, oh yeah. wait, and then I, 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 I like walk near, and he's like, <laughs> oh, Mudgy, it's so, it's so good to see you. Like, is the Undertale like, so like a mascot? The, the Undertale is, is like is is he's the Casey Neistat of Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he like, defines the culture of that area. Yeah. So like, course, okay, I believe like the Undertaler is like a mascot at Disneyland. I remember seeing in the news one time that like one like Mickey Mouse mascot at like Disney World like touched a 13 year old girl's like chest right before a photo shoot, Excellent. and so he got arrested. Excellent. I think the Undertaler gets arrested if he doesn't molest the kid he's taking a picture with. Yeah, that's what they want, right? Guys, mm. just just keep your ear for. to the ground. For when Disney buys the Undertale copyright rights, and oh, we hear fuck. that there are that there are fucking uh, 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 developments being made at Disneyland for a Undertale ride. <laughs> when, when, oh, when the PCP, day. when the PCP gets like 15 billion subscribers, and yeah. then we get bought out by Disney, then they're gonna have mm-hmm. full rights to the Undertale character, and they're gonna be able it's to uh, you know <laughs> use him in whatever disgusting, wicked ways they see fit by making him a, a cleaner, more socially adjusted person. It's gonna be a, a complete perversion disgusting. of the original vision. <laughs> of the character yeah uh i'm I, I, by the way uh next time i go to disneyland i'm going to piss my pants so i can really get into the shoes of the undertaler i can really <laughs> see what it's all about i, I, I can really learn journalism. how to uh, like ride a, it's, it's like performance art it's like performance that's real, art. It's that's like, real gonzo uh, journalism yeah journalism. it's mm-hmm. got, yeah uh, uh the undertaler is is definitely the piss gonzo journalist <laughs> <laughs> he, he really just he really just has to live it and uh you know write about it as he sees fit okay all right but no no more fucking around uh, Undertaler, uh, get get out of my way! Oh no, oh, I'm in acid now. Uh, there's new acid rides in Disneyland. <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> uh, uh, the fucking best part about Disneyland, I don't know if this is mm-hmm. even in World, is the giant turkey legs. The turkey legs that are oh. fucking huge oh, wow. and like the size of my head. And mm-hmm. every time I go there, I eat like two, and I literally barf every single time. And it's what <laughs> I want. I legitimately throw up at Disneyland every single time I go. <laughs> 
every oh single time. I don't know how meme you're being, but that seems to be no. Like I'm not simulates. not any. I <laughs> how do often it do you all go? The time. Every single time, because I just want to eat all the turkey legs, because they're so big. They're so one the, big. One of the theme parks I always go to, it has like these these really awesome giant turkey legs, and I remember like a picture of me as a kid with my brother with those mm. giant, disproportionately huge turkey legs. Where the fuck do they genetically engineer these titan turkeys? You know, that's what I was gonna ask, because like I I never got a turkey leg in an amusement park, but like I feel like there's just like amusement park staple food, which includes yeah. like those giant turkey legs, because like whenever I Richard's fa uh, uh, King Richard's Fair is a big, like, Massachusetts, or is it in Connecticut? I think so, yeah, it's in Massachusetts, uh, like, a big um, medieval festival that happens every year or whatever, and uh, uh, Renaissance Fair, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, and it's like, they sell the giant turkey legs, and, like, they all, I, it's, they also sell them at, like, Disneyland. Is there, like, some menu that, like, all amusement parks order from? I mean, personally, my favorite was always the uh, uh, clam chowder bread bowls. Those are my personal favorite of I all time. Clam time. chowder bread bowl is an amusement park food? Yeah, I've never... That's fucking yeah. crazy. Uh, uh, well, that's what I was gonna say, because I know I get them at King Richard's Fair when I go, oh. but I've never gotten them at like, a, I, I don't see park, anybody so at wondering. Disneyland with a bowl of soup. Fucking, That's uh, fucking knights bad. and it's kings and fucking bards did not have a clam <laughs> chowder, you goddamn fucking bitch. My question Turkey is, what's yeah, everybody's okay. thoughts on funnel cake? Because I personally oh, fucking hate it. I love funnel cake with strawberries and whipped cream on it. Oh, it's my favorite. Well, I, mean, I, I like funnel cake. Is I appreciate cake is. what is hateable about it. Is that it, the cake that you put in a funnel in in those deviant art comics? Is that what, what they the do? Fuck is oh this? shit! It's it's like a grid. It's like a weird grid of of batter <laughs> that they deep this fry. Is the it really is a grid. It's seen like seen if you have life. stringy oh, diarrhea good. and you deep fry it and then cover it in powdered sugar. That's what I've, a funnel cake is. I've never seen this before in my fucking life. This is the worst thing I've ever been subjected. Okay, you, know, you know what? It's pretty I, good. I have... It's like, um, let me think. How to describe it? Like, it's just, uh, yeah, just imagine cake, but imagine it fried instead of yeah. whatever. It's just like this very delicious. light, fluffy fry. Imagine if like mm -hmm. French fries like were sweet instead of salty and never yeah. stopped. It just was just a giant <laughs> never spaghetti of stuff. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's all called connected. sweet potato fries, what? and those are good. What does funnel cake those have to do with amusement parks? Because they're at amusement there. parks, they according to there. me and Nate, mm. and you guys are all mm -hmm. wrong. I guess. Yeah, they all it's have one of the staple Excellent. foods. Yeah. Well, actually, they sell those, and they sell um. Shit, what are they called? I, these are actually, you see them a lot at uh, at baseball games as well, or like football games. Oh, they're, they're called they're hot just dogs. Like not a fucking hot dog. It's well that, that too, but like it's, 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 it's like a you funnel cake. You mean they're called hamburgers? God damn it! What the fuck is this thing? It's, it's called it's just beer? like a funnel cake. No, god damn it! It's called cup of water. It's like it's a funnel a cake, but it's like one on piece. Stick? Bear claw. No, I can't remember. Bear. Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's something okay. Else I can't all right. All right. Hey, that, that's, that's enough talking for you one day. You just go ahead yeah. and get back in the I cage agree. real quick here on the big boys talk. <laughs> um, the actual best food ever made it, outside of any, you know, like not just, uh, you know, relegated to amusement parks, but they're generally inside of it. Uh, before, like, went extinct were Dippin' mm -hmm. Dots. Dippin' Dots yeah. were the only fucking hey, yeah. food I loved in my entire yeah, life. And, th and those they were, were incredible. Parks too. Why do you say they're extinct? They're like, I still have them at Walmart down you, here. What? Yeah, yeah. Mumpty, me too. We have them at Walmart, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, w w over here, they used to be at, they used to be like at McDonald's. They used to be like at every single fucking store. They used to be everywhere. They're like popular like, mainstream. Dude, dude. I used to always get them. Let me tell you. But now I you. don't see them anywhere. I, okay, I I was down at my favorite amusement park the other day, the Creationist Museum. Not a joke. And I uh, I uh, yeah, Is that like the they Ken had a big one or the. What's his name? Ken Ham or Ken, Ken Bone? I always mix them up. Uh, I, I, Ken I, Ham. Maybe Ken Ham. Yeah. It's the one in Kentucky that's like nearby. So it's it's whatever that one is. The guy who Cincinnati. debated Bill Nye way back yeah, in the day before Ken Bill Ham. Nye was a cuck. Ken Maybe Bone is the him. really cool, uh, funny um, XD uh, presidential the Trump supporter election. guy, right? Yeah, but the, yeah, the, the, the point Trump is, yeah. it's clearly superior to Disneyland because they did have Dippin' Dots. They had all Dippin' yeah. Dots booths. So there what you go. The? Uh, I guess also, they just the aren't around me. It. No, I here's the thing with Dippin' Dots, around though, around is that me. they have to be like in a super, super cold freezer. Like they have to build That's special true. freezers just to keep them from melting. True. So it's oh, like too wow. much of a liability to have them because they just keep fucking melting. The themes part because they got too many kids wandering in there and freezing to death. It's just a big, you know. Yeah. But but. And they like try to burn down the restaurant. Dots, it's like a whole like, board. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like the, the Dippin' Dots at the theme park I went to, like, they were like everywhere. Like, every couple of street paths, you'd you run mm -hmm. into one. And, like, my family has always been very, like, conservative with money when we go to one. So it's mm -hmm. just a, t a constant tease. And so I never actually <laughs> had them, but they looked cool. Ice cream of the future? God damn it, I've seen them here for like know, seven right? years. How long can the future go?
Yeah. Hey, remember remember dibs that were like a bucket full of like these little individual ice cream things? Oh yeah, chocolate, dibs. You know? Yeah, yeah they're like dibs. Dibs. covered in no chocolate idea uh, what you guys shells. Are talking about D- dibs oh, okay. are everywhere for me. Dibs Sorry, like, Gib, this is food dip. of the future. This <laughs> yeah, is all we're going to be eating like in, your in old 2030. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no, you better get woke. Basically nothing in this podcast so far has like rung true. Like, oh yeah, I know that. Like, nothing. Well, well, what do they have in your, your whole life? Over have there, you ever dude? walked yeah. before and seen a funny fucking I've clown never... juggle at a <laughs> like, Do they have like fucking park? prime rib and, and, and steak <laughs> over at your amusement park? Oh, you yes, it's me, the, in- the average English nine-year-old child. Oh, I shall <laughs> have my prime, I shall have my sirloin with my, oh, my sword with my, oh, we have fuck candy off. Floss. Candy what? Get out of here! That sounds like the buffoon. least healthy thing for your teeth of all time. Oh, wait. Uh, no, you call it... <laughs> that explains uh, a few things. You call it cotton candy. That's right. Mm-hmm. We call we it candy floss, floss, I guess, because it gets stuck in your teeth. That's the joke. Oh, shit. That's okay. not yeah, like, It melts yeah. on your tongue, okay. you sick fuck. Guys, who has had this, this crazy moment of, of finding <laughs> out all at once that cotton candy is called something different in other places, and that in other places it's called it so pervasively that a local had to spend five seconds remembering the word for cotton candy. I had no idea it wasn't called that That's everywhere. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah. Pretty, it's yeah. fucking it's crazy. Weird. That's like the biggest, most crazy one I've experienced in like many years. I thought I knew all the ones. Um, uh-huh. I guess you say, uh, we have con candy too, dunk ass, and then do that emoji. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> that so emoji. Gib, t- Gib, tell us more. What's, what's England like with this shit? Um, what, what do you, what do you well, uh, I'm very easily amused, so, uh, regular <laughs> Everywhere's parks, an amusement uh, park if I try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, a regular park will do me just fine. I'm very <laughs> easy. special one. But, um, I mm-hmm. haven't been to many, and usually when I have, it's, like, been part of a school thing, or, like, a family sure, thing, okay. but, mm-hmm. like... Mm-hmm. Uh, hey kids, uh, since you've been good, you, we're going on a school trip to Thorpe Park or Chessington World of Adventures. I'm like, cool. Why do your uh, music parks sound like work? Why do they sound like homework <laughs> textbooks? I know, I know. It's like, like I, I feel uh, like America is like a lot more densely packed with amusement parks because they're yeah. just not There's one on every place. Corner. I only, I only know <laughs> those like two. I only know those two, and then Legoland. Christ. And then there's six like a flags bunch of zoos. Adventures. I never n- know Six Flags, do, do, no do, Disneyland. Do, do, do. You don't know it's about Six song. Flags? Oh, okay. I know about it. It's got that uh, the the bull oh. man. Let's go to the funny fucking Six Flags. Watch me dance for you. I actually have a picture of twelve-year-old me posing with the dancing old man because I went to Six Flags and he was there. Oh my god! Yeah. Which, which, which six you flags is that? You have to put that. I, I don't remember, but I'll try to find okay. it. It might be on my old, old Facebook account that I'll have to reactivate and dig through, but I'll, I'll fucking look. Why did they let a monkey into a theme park? <laughs> he, was, uh, he was working there. We all know that monkey Racism. worked at an amusement park. <laughs> please, please, pu- please put that on screen right now. By the insane. Way, if I find it. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, cool thing about Chessington World of Adventures is mm-hmm. that there it's... The land is, uh, it has a literal castle on it, which is the people who own like, the yeah. estate. I knew it. I knew it. You so, are yeah. castles. Yeah. We have more castles <laughs> than amusement parks, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so in turning general. actual history into a, this whole fucking well, continent it's, it's has not, no it's history. Not, it's not That's part true. of yeah, the park. Yeah, fuck the Native Americans, sort of, know what I'm saying? Just sort of, <laughs> yeah. It's just sort of on the hill, and it's uh, the people who own the, the land own the castle. And yeah. you can sort of go up to it, but I don't think you can go in. I don't. I, okay. I haven't tried, okay. but okay. Yeah, the, yeah. One of the two theme parks I uh, they're always near me is sort of based around a history thing, but I'll get into that later. Tease for the future. You, you knock on the castle door. Where's my uh, sirloin? Sir, I ordered it <laughs> the very thirty-five minutes ago, and I'm starting to get queasy. <laughs> All right, me. folks. That's we've me. talked That's about what I was the like. food, <laughs> but I've got some insight for you because I famously worked for a summer at an amusement park. So let's talk oh, yeah. a little bit about the rides. Upsetting. I want Yes. Finally, let me ask the main you, event. Mm-hmm. Let, let me ask you, how much training do you think each 16-year-old worker gets before operating this giant piece of machinery that they're responsible for the lives of all One the people second. on them? Yeah, how much how much training do you think I got well, before I every ride? Say there, like six there's months. a reason there's a reason the most popular undergraduate degree in the world is amusement park ride <laughs> operation. So, you know, yeah. good four years. Monkey, okay, were you guess. a carny specifically? I want to believe that you were a carny <laughs> clown. I want to uh, believe you were a fortune teller. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe. I mean, I just okay, operated cool. the rides, but I did predict some uh, some future events. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, well, how'd it go down, Mom? What, what, what was so, yeah. the, the way my amusement park worked, which I worked at Adventureland, which is in uh, some city in Iowa, I forget the city, mm-hmm. somewhere around Des Moines. Uh, they didn't want you to get bored at any one ride, so every single week you would get trained for a different ride and then do that ride for the whole week and then move on to the next one. So by the end of the okay. summer, I had pretty much operated every ride in the park, which is kind of cool because then I knew so how they all that worked. That sounds like a good idea, yeah. But, like, you know, you, you work Monday through Sunday or whatever the fuck, and uh, the Monday morning, they give you about five to ten minutes, like, telling you how to do the ride, and then that's it. And then you're just, like, on your own for the whole week, and you're, like, a fucking 16 God, or 17-year-old kid. <laughs> but... Awesome. Uh, did anything um, go wrong? N- not not for How many me. people died? Well, that's the thing. It's always <laughs> fun, because, like, you're 16 and there's no responsibility, so you, you can just, yeah. like, tell kids in line who are waiting, like... You know how many kids died in this ride yesterday, man? <laughs> I, I just got these. done cleaning the blood off the seats, dude. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> kids get did all scared. Did you actually ever do that? that? Oh, of course I did. Of course Amazing. I did. Amazing. Like, yeah. you're not you're not a carny unless you tell the kids that another kid died on the ride. I agree. And the little monkey's number one dream in life was to become a carny. That's how, that's what we train right. day and night for. <laughs> but something strange about it is that I guess amusement parks have. Like, a, a weird thing with the child labor laws, because, like, even if you're under 16, like, 14-year-olds were allowed to work, like, the restaurants and shit. Oh, but, what like, the fuck? Yeah, but but the thing is, like, there was no restriction on how many hours. Like, I was uh, I oh. was a wee lad, and I was working, f- uh, like, 55 hours a week. Holy and I, God, I, I don't know. What? Maybe it's because it's, like, a, a seasonal job, and, like, there's, like, a special thing yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I was there... Because th- the morning shift was five hours and the night shift was seven. And I would just work both because why the fuck not? I drove all the way there. So I'd be working like, you know, 12-hour days, six days a week. Fuck. And I I don't know why they're allowed to do that for people who are not adults. It's weird. That's a very good question. Uh, I think y'all need to unionize. Y'all need to unionize. They <laughs> need a know. leader. They need a union leader, Mumkey. You're the man for the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I think unions, I think Monkey Jones. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Elliot Roger did nothing wrong. Hey, that's the platform. It's <laughs> Fair, that, that's what he sounds like, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's me, Monkey Jones. See, I'm going to make a new Elliot Roger video. The, the cowards will eat it up. <laughs> so, Monkey, did you ever get mumbly? Mumbly. Like all the time. <laughs> Did constantly? you ever get mumbly? Because that's the <laughs> number one thing to when I think mumbly, theme park mumbly. operator. I'm thinking, how many times do they think when they start a new day or a new week, thinking, you know what, I'm gonna clearly enunciate the instructions for this ride, and how many times, how many loops can they go on before they give up and just be like, put your hands in the blah blah blah, blah as everyone makes right. Sense. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, no, I, uh, I mean it's like the same sentence over and over again. It's not too hard. You know, there was one ride at a theme park where they had a fucking pre-recorded thing by a professional. It was like, keep your hands in the seat at all times. Get ready for it. And I was like, holy shit, this is great. You can hear it perfectly. It's way more pleasant to listen to because it's with an actual microphone. And they got rid of it at some point and went back to the mumbly teenager. And I'm like, I don't blame them. This is a broken system. Why not use pre-recordings? Dude, you know what was the best? Yeah, okay, go on, much. Well, in California Adventure, which is like like Disneyland is broken up in two parks. One is actually Disneyland, and then there's like a sister park. It's like like across the fucking like just like walk two seconds and then you get into another one. It's called California Adventure, and uh, there's a ride in this called a uh, Soarin' Over California or something to that effect. And fucking and fucking David Putty from Seinfeld walks out and he's in this fucking snazzy pilot's outfit. He's like, "It's me, David Putty. Fucking <laughs> keep your fucking slut hands to yourself, bitch." And then he like slams the door in your face. And then you get like this cool, like fucking, like like AMV of like a uh, real yeah. life while you uh, jam wow. the fuck out and like fly. AMV of real life. Yeah, Dude, there was that's one fantastic. Ride called I don't know some you know some generic like crazy scientist name. It's one of those like indoor rides that has all these crazy lighting effects and it like sure. you know spins you around a bunch. But like the uh, the line to the ride is also indoors and it's got like these TVs that play like this intro sequence and it's got like several minutes of like intro of like world building for this scientist and where he built the invention and like what he did and how he did it and what it's all about and what the ride is and like but you can't hear or any of it because it's too crowded and loud but i was like dude, why'd dude, they dude. film all That's, this shit i i know what you're saying but like i i think i know what they're aspiring to when they do that because like the best atmosphere of any ride i've ever been on was the tower of terror in uh disney yeah. world 
which yeah. has this oh. grand build up. You're in this hotel and they're like, oh, these are the guests. And they're like, oh, there's there's been some rumors of like strange activity happening in this hotel. And like y the line is so fucking long. Like you get plenty of time to watch like the whole story as it unfolds on like the TVs around you. And the whole place is like decked out. There's there's bell hops fucking each other in the corners and shit. Just, <laughs> you know, the whole atmosphere. They, the atmosphere is perfect. And then it builds up and like the same voice that was used for the narrator is like, as you're finally on the ride and it lifts you up and you're like looking out at the park through the cracks and like the, the broken down walls of the hotel shit. It's like, goodbye. And then, ah, you go falling as the fucking ride kicks off. It's, it's, it's such a great atmospheric adventure. God, that was so Dude, fucking great. Nate, 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 two points on that. First of yeah. all, the Tower of Terror, literally the best ride. Uh, they fucking yeah. removed it. They removed it from Disneyland. That... They got rid of it. You what, about Disney World? what about you, Disney you know... World? Oh, well, I don't know about Disney World, but I don't okay, care about that because okay. it's probably gay. Um, anyway, <laughs> and fucking Disneyland. The Tower of Terror was, like, the coolest fucking thing ever. And it was, it yeah, was, it like, was. It, it, it was in California Adventure because it was, like, oh, fucking, this is a California hotel, and it's fucking mm -hmm. cool. Twilight, who would think to make a Twilight Zone ride and make it actually, like, cool? But you know what? They, the they fucking removed it. And it was fucking iconic. It was iconic. Everyone oh, loved the Tower of Terror. Twilight it was Twilight Zone. Incredible. I forgot that. That yeah, makes it dude. even better. Yes. It's okay, even, but dude, I will say... I, well, uh, oh, okay, hold, go hold on. on. They removed it, and they replaced it with a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Oh, no. oh God. Okay, it's Nate. What? Nate, you haven't seen either movie, so you don't get a groan, first I, of But all. I know that Twilight Zone is one of the greatest cinematic masterpieces of the small screen of all time. Isn't I know that, the that movie much. where Max Landis' dad killed two people in cold blood? <laughs> I, I, I'm not I'm talking about the, the Rod Sterling show. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Oh. I know about no movie. I've got uh, a raw also, that's yeah. sterling for you. Wink. Well, okay. So so as much as I love that, that's not my favorite ride of all time, okay? My, my favorite ride of all time uh, is, is in a little place you might have heard of called Tokyo Nippon. All right? And I rode this Excellent. every single day. I rode this every single day of my life. And it's called the subway system of Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> Excellent. And so you get, you get on this thing, and, and they really create great atmosphere. There's all these slant-eyed actors looking at you funny. <laughs> There's, there's obviously Ooh. something that's There's all these yellows. I, appre I appreciate the commitment to the character of these fucked up individuals. <laughs> and, uh, like, the, the little announcer is like, uh, uh, Denwa, uh, uh, doors are now closing, you fat American fuck. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> thanks, dude, I get it. And, and then I ride, I ride, I ride, and then I get off, and it was the greatest experience of my whole life. I did it every day, several times a day. It was cheap as fuck. I wish I lived somewhere where there was subway so I could do it again. I love subways. Subways that, are my favorite amusement park ride. That's, that's I, I, what I'm I like saying. thrilling the rides, Nate, but I don't like scarier rides. I think that might that might, <laughs> my, my, that, surrounded by all those ghouls and freaks, that might make my heart <laughs> pound a little bit too fast there. I think you might be going that's a little bit too uh, over over the line there, to my that's taste. That's understandable. Please. What about hey. Escalator Land? <laughs> when do we get to the ride? This, <laughs> this is, is the ride. The ride. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Uh, what, a, what a classic. Incredible. Classic. Thank you. Uh, thank, my, thank you, Jimmy. Did anybody Trump. else think that show was called Fairy Godparents and not Fairly Odd Parents? It's fucking bullshit. Uh, I, I, I was playing I a Nickelodeon up. trivia game, and the qu the question was like, what's the show with Timmy and Uba? And I was like, oh, that's fucking yeah. Fairy Godparents, dude. And I got it wrong, because it was Fairly, fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents, Fucking yeah. bullshit yeah. name. Uh, Jimmy read, was so. an average kid that no one would understand. Mom uh -huh. and dad and Vicky only giving him the bad. Then he went to fucking go and get his gun. <laughs> Na -na -na -na. And he practiced. Magical and fishing and every wish shot up the school. Reality, yeah. They are his yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Parents, yeah. fairly yeah. on parents. Yeah. Fairly yeah. on parents. Yeah. Did you guys know that they shake? changed the theme song because they have a new female character who is sharing the, the, fair, new, yeah. the fairy what? godparents yeah. with Timmy and it's fucking what? terrible? What? What in I haven't spot? seen it, but I heard about it. Okay, all right. Gib was saying something. What, what, were you, what were you saying, Gib? Oh, I was going to start talking about my favorite ride, uh, yeah, which um, that's, they're, they're probably like my... All the rides I've ever been on are probably like worse than all American ones, just <laughs> just <laughs> because, real. just because you know, the I don't know. It's probably smaller, I assume. I assume because... Uh, I assume everything in America is like 10 feet taller than everything in England. Yeah. That's right. Like, Especially like people, dicks. people included, as I've, I've encountered. <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, um, guys, but, are we gonna get back to the whole thing of discussing everyone's favorite theme parks? Hey, hippo he's, he's talking in the about. middle. Of talking. Sorry, talking. sorry, middle fucking, I had to go do this? a thing for a minute and I had to come back and reannounce myself. <laughs> fucking listen and acquaint you? yourself with the situation, Davu. What the fuck? Why would you? Well, like, what did you think we were doing while you were gone? What did you think we were doing? Singing theme songs. I thought it was the <laughs> fucking off topic. Okay. All right. You, you okay. shouldn't uh, open fair with enough. like, like, uh, whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love Davu. Like, I've never been into to roller coasters. They scare me, especially mm -hmm. even the one at Legoland. Like. 
there's a one at Legoland Even where it's a, it's a green dragon. A green <laughs> Lego right, dragon. That's the one! Yeah, dude. It's it's. Uh -huh. it, it was the first one I ever made myself go on, and it it, it I, I tensed up my whole body so that I, I basically uh -huh. like blacked out and I couldn't see and I died. Uh, but it was <laughs> really cool. But um, later in my life, when I had glasses and uh, I was at the oh, steam, no. I was at Thorpe Park for like the the end of school year. Hey kids, we're taking you to to the the amusement. The, we're taking you to a thing, and everyone's like, "Yeah, it's it's cool. We're all friends." And I'm like, "Oh, oh no, I don't have those." But oh. this will be the moment. This will be the time yeah. in my life when yes. I can have like the 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 cool day out with everyone and become cool. Uh, mm. And it was it was all right, but <laughs> I was too scared to go on the rides because I'd never really tried them, and mm. I hate it. That's uh, so. There was this one roller coaster where I was like, I gotta do it with somebody. I gotta do it at some point. I just gotta mm -hmm, do it. Mm -hmm. um, so I got onto this thing, and it's one of those rides where you like your legs are dangling down below. Right. And, yep, um, yep. I got in. I was like fucking scared out of my mind, and we were yeah, we were going. Yeah. And then one of the guys on my left said, uh, "Hey, uh, hey, uh, you, you you didn't put your glasses away. You you got your glasses on. Is it gonna fall oh, off?" And I'm like, oh, no. uh, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't know that was, that was gonna happen. So uh, frantically, I was just trying to like I, I couldn't like you have the thing around your like shoulders. And my hands, yeah. my my arms couldn't really quite reach around, mm -hmm. but I could just about get my pinky finger wrapped around the rim of my glasses, and I was just holding on. I could feel it slipping off my face, and yeah. I was concentrating on that the whole time, and I was just <laughs> scrunched up and like weird. And Dude, when yeah. we got through the end. Um, I was just, I was so relieved that I managed to keep my glasses on, but then they had the picture come out with like, um, ah. with like, here's, here's you guys, here's, and all these cool guys are like, screaming with a big mouth, like, exactly how you're supposed to look, and there's me, like, scrunched up, eyes closed, like, 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 like a weird, twisted, um, dead bug, a little, a holding freak, onto my little a glasses. Monster. Yeah, yeah, I looked disgusting, yeah. and they, they, nobody said anything, but I knew. I was like, oh, oh. is that what I'm I've like? been there, dude. I've been on those rides trying to hold on my, my various eyewears that I wear all the time. Yeah. God, oh, sucks. shit, that would be yeah. hard. You have to just duct tape them to your head. Yeah. 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 But uh, uh, that, that, that was cool. That got me okayed with, with roller coasters. But I think the, f the, the most fun I had was mm -hmm. uh, recently this summer, I, I went to one because uh, you may know, I do like a, a yearly uh, week with uh, helping disabled kids. There's like a weekend, mm -hmm. a week camp. And I do that stuff. And it's about time uh, Ben got that help that he needed. It's, it's pretty yeah. rude that you call that a week camp for these weak people. It's very, you know. <laughs> it's a week long camp. It's not nice. And uh, <laughs> occasion, uh, one of the days we go out to an amusement park. And the last time I went, I think it was Chessington World of Adventures. Like the, the only, the second, the only, like there's two in the whole of the UK. And we went to the, mm -hmm. the second one. And there was like a, a a virtual reality 3D headset ride that was super fast. It was like planets exploding with a la with a, like a a Cortana lady saying, "You're going through. We're going to warp speed now." And I'm like, "Oh my goodness, whoa!" <laughs> uh, it was great uh, I, because I didn't have to I didn't have to look at the ground. I could just feel like I was going through yeah. space. Yeah, yeah. So that, those cool. are good. I like that. Uh, I it'd be interesting to see how VR gets worked more into rides as we mm -hmm. as we move into our our future. Because the uh, whole point of like a, an amusement ride to begin with is to simulate the feeling of death. You know, that's mm, what they're really yeah, for, yeah. to make you terrified to your core and think, I'm about to die. And you get that dopamine rush to your brain, which we enjoy. So, like, if we could just do that sitting on our asses, you know, through VR, then yeah, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah, the moment that we get that, it's gonna, like, the whole was, issue with theme parks is that people are slowly realizing that there's just not much fun to be had that you can't just have in your bedroom on the internet, you know? Okay, oh, the no, thing about no, that no. is, though, I, I, would, I, would say, I would say that that ride is the perfect and only good usage of a VR headset I've ever seen. Yeah. Right. Because okay. I was but actually, just you, you were flying through the air. You could feel the wind uh, buffeting your your whole body, and it, you. Were, I mean, there's no wind in space, so how could that be true? But you know, <laughs> we were uh, all thinking <laughs> that. Yeah. I, I think that it'll always be okay as long as human beings have physical bodies and are basically the same creature that we are now, which might not always be the case. But but while we are something like an amusement park, will always have a utility just for the sake of changing your surroundings. Sometimes, I mean, I spend all fucking day looking at my computer and and working and shit in the exact same like three foot location at all times, either at home or at work. And to just deviate uh, to 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 divert from that for a time and go somewhere else and do something that's just out of the norm 
God, it's feels yeah. good. God, but, I so love there's, it. There's things like like I, I sort of joked earlier about like a normal park being just enough for me. I'm easily mm-hmm. amused, but it's kind of true. Like a, just a, a change of environment is really nice. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, and the thing with like actual parks is that there's not that many people in them. Amusement parks uh, scare me with the 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 huge crowds. I'm not mm-hmm. good with the mm-hmm. the huge crowds. I have That's many what I memories. Like about them. That's what I like. I, I have I have a lot of memories of getting separated from brothers or huh. family members or or friends Forever. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just, well, just and, is... and and not and not being the one with the map and being like, well, I mean, I I I'm just gonna die. Hey, I'm just gonna of... I'm just gonna walk to Dino Land and and <laughs> jump into a mouth. Speaking of crowds, so there was one crowd related story. It's actually the opposite of kind of what you're saying, but but there was one time when my family we all, we all went to uh, Six Flags New England uh, in um, Springfield, Massachusetts, and so it was like the end of the day. I don't remember what day it was, but for whatever reason, it like wasn't a very full day. But at the very end of the day, as the as the place was closing down, closing down, it was like six p.m. or something. I think I think the close is kind of early, whatever day that was. So we happened to be there, and like nobody was there. And, and me and my dad were just like, you know what? We went on the Superman roller coaster, instantly one of the greatest roller coasters in the, in the world. Uh, everyone should ride it. It's super fun. Uh, that that big <laughs> dive fun. at the very beginning. Yeah, it's super very fun. Uh, but fun. The, the point is, me and my dad went on it, and we realized after we got out, okay, so we went early on in the day. Then we came back. We're like, let's do it again before we leave for the end of the day. So we went at it again, and we realized there's literally no line. Let's just do it again. And so we did it again three full times over and over again on this roller coaster. Well, I'm sure the people running it rolled their eyes. They're like, oh, look at these. Look at these cool customers riding the same ride a million times. But fuck them. Me and my dad had so much fun on that ride. It was fucking fantastic. I love Superman and that roller coaster. Uh, mm-hmm. It was great. So uh, crowds can get fucked. I hope they. I hope everyone dies. Uh, please, uh, ISIS. I've got a couple targets for you mapped out on my map here. Some some places where a lot of people gather. If you could just clear them out for me. Uh, we'd all. It'd be very convenient for me. Let's, uh, let's make that happen. Uh, that's a pretty uh, ride a roller coaster three times is a pretty good exchange for not having locks on your doors. I would say. <laughs> it's a, it's I don't, a, a fair what? bargain. Fair bargain. What are you? What are you? What are you getting at? I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not getting at anything. It's just a funny. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh, I, f- uh, are we gonna I, say I, our I favorite theme of... parks? Oh, okay. Never well, mind. Go. Let's do I, that. But yeah, Gib, what are you saying? I, I forgot to mention the reason I brought up the uh, the the like uh thing with the, the VR thing. Not that. Not that. The the reason I brought up the the disabled kids thing was because mm-hmm. uh, to I had to go on the ride with them. Otherwise, you know, I'm a oh, helper. Fuck. I can't. Not. That's the How reason. Um, I mean, they were fine. The person I was with, they they were having okay. a blast. Could but you imagine like, being uh, so retarded you can't sit down and get buckled in? I, just, I, well, I can't imagine. I don't, I don't I think can. those those kids didn't. But there was like, well, it's just, just like you know, it's, it's hard to deal with like with kids, old... you know, and like people who are retarded literally means slow. So they're you know they're like like dealing with kids. Oh, yeah, know? but you go fast because they're on the right. <laughs> nice. uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's true. You win. We're bringing them up to you speed, win. baby. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, uh, I don't have a favorite theme park, by the way, oh, because okay. I'm gay. Uh, no, wait, Legoland. Nice. That's the one. <laughs> wait, uh, oh, Mochi, yeah. you do it. You do Legoland, because uh, yeah. I, 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 I also love. It's a, it's a toss up between uh, Legoland and Disneyland for me. I also love uh, Universal Studios. My my least favorite is by far Sea World. Super fucking boring, and they don't yeah. actually let to, yeah. they, they don't let you get to see them torture the animals. They do it behind Every- closed doors. And they don't like you to <laughs> yeah. see it. Ever since they stopped murdering Shamu for our enjoyment, that yeah. place has really gone down. She I want to see blood slut. in the fucking water. She deserves yeah. it. Um, <laughs> but what always upset me is like I would always like think like Sea World, Water, Slittenbond, Water Park Vlog. So I would want to go there to like. Yeah. Oh. All right, we we haven't even got to water parks. That's going to be whole part two <laughs> yeah. of this podcast. I, I, I would, I we'll get Scion here. Yeah, yeah we, we, got we would it. always. I would always want to go there to get wet, but then I would like. There's like no wet. It's like you get kind of wet. Like Shamu can like splash you, but like <laughs> I don't know. I want to get dripping. I want to get. I want to get sloppy. I want to get m- mushy. <laughs> That's what I want, but I, I couldn't I, do. It. I mean, Is I wouldn't think God. of Sea World as a water park. I'd think of it as like a fucking aquarium. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, pretty I, much a, an aquarium with a couple. To, but I don't know. I, I wanted to see the fun. <laughs> Guys, Shamu. just just okay. Everybody, everybody. All right, take it. Take a journey with me, everybody. Okay, just just okay. close your eyes. Just close your eyes and think back to when you were like fourteen years old. It's the summertime. The sun's beating down. That was like you. two a, days ago for munch. I I, I know. That, that's <laughs> it's, you're on a, you're on a class trip, everybody. You're on a class trip. You're wearing your swim trunks. You got your t-shirt on. You're going on rides. You're checking out your fourteen year old classmates with their with their burgeoning titties. You know, you're you're looking at what they got and what they're offering. <laughs> they're almost you. there. 
You're you're hanging out with all your friends. It, it's nice and warm. You're getting the fucking ice cream from the from the vendors. You, you're going dots. on rides and shit, getting dipping dots. You're spilling them everywhere, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> you just go. You because you just fucking go in the lazy river and you chill with your buddies mm, and you hang yeah. out there for an hour as you just lazily drift. It's the most fun you've ever had in your fucking life. Oh, what? Okay, this is what I'm getting at. Water parks are the greatest thing in the world. I yeah. love water parks mm -hmm. intensely. They are my favorite. I love the lazy river. I, I was born in yes. a lazy river, and one day I will die there. That's my I, destiny. I do, I do like those, but I never like water parks purely because mm -hmm. uh, I gotta wear a swimsuit and I, I can't wear a shirt, and it's like uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed about my gross body. That is, <laughs> this is not, it's not cool enough. It's Just wear cool a surfer shirt. Just wear a surfer shirt. You can get yeah. though, and it won't be weird. What the yeah. fuck is that? We're an Under Armour compression shirt to, yeah, to shape your muscles. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like, uh, you know, people are going to know, like, uh, he's, he's trying to hide something. Dude, what, okay, what your problem is you give a shit. Fuck him, yeah. dude. You're there, you're there to check out 14-year-old tits. You're not Even there to impress anybody. Older. Even you know if what? you're a yeah, mom. I'll go there today. Yes. Do I think if man. Ben Saint has the courage to go outside, we should all have the courage <laughs> to be naked in public. <laughs> oh, I agree. Oh, naked, in, in, indeed. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, I agree. Water parks are great. There's a water park that's like near my house that's like local, and there's this giant ride that's like um I think it's called uh literally the toilet. And what you do really? is you just uh like walk up to like the top of this very huge just like I mean, just like a funnel. Uh, that is the that is the rise. You walk up that's, and it's like slanted. So cool. like, it's like slanted. So uh -huh. like what you do is you just get up to the top of this like thing and you get in this like little like it's kind of like the lazy river, just kind of like a, a donut that you sit your uh, ass in. And then yeah. what happens is you like I, I don't know if I can draw this diagram, but just like imagine like you uh, get like pushed, you get fucking shoved, and then mm -hmm. uh, you keep going down like 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 you ride the uh, the you, water you, wave you, spiral. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do a spiral in the funnel. And, and it's so not like cool. straight down. It's 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 like sideways. So you're going up and you're defying fucking gravity and going upside down on this fucking thundle until you finally get like like spit out and you get fucking like destroyed. Just, just think about like the bizarre engineering work that we've done yeah, to make these yeah. like strange death machines just to, yes. just to make ourselves have fun for a little while. It's so cool. I love like the idea of making amusement park rides. It's so mm. it's so like retarded <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's the coolest thing you ever know, it's the best actually i actually realized i actually do have a favorite amusement park ride which mm -hmm. is um i don't remember what it's called the the t tin t turning Roller wheel coaster. thing it's one of those ones where you're in a giant coffee mm. cup and it spins and it sucks you into the wall yeah, you guys know those? yeah or whatever no no okay. it's it, yeah it's like the silly silo where it spins in a circle and you stick to the wall and the yeah. floor drops <clears throat> yeah. yeah okay okay yeah, yeah. I'm with you. one of the theme parks i live near they have one it's like that it's one of the ones that like goes way up and it goes sideways and stuff <laughs> But yeah. uh, that one's fine. Uh -huh. But they have this other really old one. I wouldn't be surprised if it was gone if I went there again. It feels very 70s, right? It's got, like, carpet and stuff, even mm. though it's outside. And uh, it's just so tucked out of the way where, like, people don't notice it. So it's very just unpopular, which means there's almost never a line. I always right. get to go right in there. So because of that experience and the aesthetic of it, that makes it my favorite ride because it consistently doesn't have a line to wait through. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, th that's great. That's great. Accessibility. And, yeah, like, isn't that a great experience to, like, find this great ride that other people just don't know about? And you've got – there's just – there's something about this that is so linked with, like, my happiest childhood memories, everything having to do with, with amusement parks. It just makes me happy to think about. It's just such a joy. It's such a joy. I love these. It's this is, like, Speaking the one thing that I like about children or, or that, like, things are, are made for children. Other than their that, bodies. Like, other than their yeah, other yeah. Than their sexy ass blooming bodies, mm -hmm. fourteen year olds give me a call. Uh, <laughs> Every Snapchat single Nate one. Bestman. <laughs> yeah. right, I'll send you a snap after, right after this podcast, Nate. Oh uh, yeah, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Um, guys, but, yeah, fuck, fuck Disney mm -hmm. World. I know what the best okay. amusement park is. What's that? Motherfucking Thrillville, baby! Hey, oh, oh, look at Thrillville go! Oh, here it comes, PS 2s hero. You can go, you can go flirt with a fucking twelve-year-old kid. It's fun. Yeah. You don't get I arrested. I do in real for life it. all the time, Not, dude. <laughs> well, no, that's legal game for you. That. Some of us get arrested for that, my my <laughs> munchie friend. Yeah. Thrillville, yeah. you think a ride's dumb? You fucking get rid of that shit and build a new one. It's easy. It's fucking easy. You don't, you don't even want to finish the roller coaster. You just want to say fuck it, let it crash. You can do that. It's easy. It's fun. <laughs> does that uh, does that hurt your morale for the workers? Well, it probably helps the worker morale, but it de depresses uh, you know well, total earnings. Well, the janitors don't like it because they have a lot of blood and guts to clean up. But right. everybody else right. enjoys it because the kids are dead. <laughs> I'm not ride on on Thrillville. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Billy Johnson. He's a 12 year old boy. I ride him a lot. <laughs> oh, Ayo. 
Hey, look uh, at pedophiles uh, does, go. Does, here they come, anybody, jails hero. Does anybody have similar stories to this? So I've had a couple of incidents that happened like this, but but basically what I'm talking about is like so. There's this Batman ride, or it was like a Nightwing ride. It probably has changed since I was last there. Uh, at Six Flags, so it's this thing where you um, it's like it's like a spinny circle that just lifts in the air, and then you, you kind of like fly. You lie down like on your stomach. You get kind of squished into this thing, and you hold onto the bars, and then it just like spins you um like towards your face, like you're flying like Superman. Um, so actually, it should have been called the Superman ride. I don't know why it's called the Batman ride, but anyway. Uh, so like we get in there, and like the ride starts, and we all like get into position, and then the ride like shuts down, like it gets stuck like <gasps> that. So, uh, uh, I was there for probably like forty-five minutes until like they they pried me out of there. And I've had situations Fuck. where I'm like at the top of a roller coaster, like about to go down Fuck. it, and then the ride like gets stuck, and then Whoa. you're stuck there. I've never so been how on many... when it gets broken though. No. You've re- that's never I mean, happened. Actually, happened? you know what? Like no, I've, I've been on ones that get stuck, and then like someone climbs up and fixes the thing, but only for a few minutes. See, it's it's at those kinds of moments that you realize how stupid it is to even be doing this in the first place, and how like an amusement park ride is not what man was meant to <clears throat> do, do guys, with this okay, physical form. I know one roller coaster that has like these uh, like stairs at like the top of the initial peak, the initial peak that gets yes. you going up. There's these little mm-hmm. like you know steel steps, but like you have to go up. You have to like like. I actually saw it once. A maintenance worker has to get on the ride, then stop mm-hmm. the roller coaster before it goes down the peak, and he steps off, and then he oh. goes on those little steppy things. And I'm like, whoa, that's a cool-ass perilous place to work, to, like, do your job. I do have that's a similar – I do have a somewhat – I have a very just, – just a frustrating, shitty gay experience, which was this one log flume that has, like, the mm-hmm. longest line in the fucking world, and it's a 45-second ride. Like – one second of ride is one minute of line, and it closed <laughs> yeah, when yeah. we were like three people away from getting on. Oh God uh, damn it! I've had that happen to me too. Yeah, it's the worst. I was worst. like, why the f- fuck don't they put a giant stop sign on the yes. beginning of the line forty five minutes before that, closing? See, that is such- that Logic. is such an easy problem to solve. You just stop people from getting in line as opposed to stopping them when it's time to shut it down. Mm-hmm. It's so easy to do, but they, they just don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They're my... going to ruin children's lives. My favorite ride is it, it, it is probably the Simpsons ride for the incredible atmospheric vibe that I get, <laughs> just it being in line. Uh-huh. Just the just it, like like the aesthetics match the gameplay wholeheartedly. Just just when you when you hear that you'd hear that that voice coming over the PA. Homer, what are those monsters <laughs> doing over there? I don't understand. No, oh, those are those are sand virus <laughs> skeletons. That is not a good Mo impression at all. It's not Mo. Uh, oh. So, uh, uh, yeah, the, I, actually, I like, I like the second part of the ride where it gets to, like, so let's say some gangster steps to your fly girl. You just did it with one of these. <laughs> uh, Q shotgun blast. Um, yeah, okay, there you um, go. The Simpsons ride is legitimately fucking sick. It's sick as uh-huh. fuck. It's fucking what kind of ride LOL. It makes me laugh out loud <laughs> so fucking hard. And, uh-huh. uh, like, like, I don't even like the ride. It's like the line of the ride. Because when you're in line to go to the ride, you have to wait, like, four. 45 minutes and then you just like just you just like blast simpsons Ebnos into your retina and then it's like like a hey, beside, the, like behind the scenes like lore about how like like that one fucking funny yellow guy who wants to kill the simpson and then you get to see him do the funny fucking scheme on the tv see, that's, that's actually great that's actually yeah. great when they put effort into like the setup leading yeah. to the ride yeah. itself that's yeah it's good like it's like the uh, like the fucking uh twilight, twilight zone ride yeah it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the best right. it's lego great. land lego land uh, foam bionicle sword. Uh, Whoa. the, I love that. I, I, I know, I, I have that exact one! I have that, I have that exact one! It, I, I know it, exactly yeah, what you're talking yeah, about. Right? I love the bionicle fucking shit. It's the c- coolest <laughs> shot. Legoland is like the only place that deserves to have a gift shop. Uh, hey, hi- uh, hi- Hippo, I'm assuming you, you, you didn't go to the one in California, right? No, no, I, I feel like they're the same everywhere. I went yeah, to yeah, Legoland okay. Windsor. Oh, okay, okay. Um, they're, they're probably the same anywhere. Uh, yeah. Um, um, oh my fuck. Did you get your driver's license at Legoland? Did you get your fucking <laughs> yeah, cool ass? Like yeah, car. dude! What the, the fuck driver's is that? Cars. It's yeah, stupid. Yeah, we get fucking driving cars! Dude, um, they, they tell you don't bump people, but you totally do it. Oh, oh, like, don't <laughs> fucking I, stop I, I you. Actually, I actually remember a time when there was an old lady just in there. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I guess she's like <laughs> looking over after a kid who's also in there. Yeah, so yeah. I attacked her. I just rammed her <laughs> right into her. <laughs> you see weak blood and you go for it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Easy and she wasn't time pleased. is over, Grandma. This is the she... youth's ride now. <laughs> I, I, 
Yeah, so that that was sick. Um, you yeah, you went full uh, Clockwork Orange at that yeah. moment. <laughs> you just went full monster mode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Legoland is 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 cool because you know the rides are all right, but the the main thing is that every everything is made of Legos. Yes. Like the, the stalls, That's the the, the signs, the, the no no like really like uh, the I things don't are made. You. They're How made of be? Legos because they all right. Uh, there's like huge Lego statues that are made by having like. Uh, like a metal frame. Uh, I've seen it not right, being okay. done at the place, but I know how they do it. They get mm -hmm. le Lego and they super glue it together, so it's just perfectly forever going to be okay. li literally a statue. And they do it for fucking everything mm -hmm. in the place. Like That's even the plants. Thing. Some of the yeah. plants are made of Lego. It's like yeah. I f oh, I, wanna, I feel I feel like playing Minecraft right now. Dude. I love it. <laughs> You're selling me on Legoland. Did you have Did you have like the dinosaur fossil ride? Oh, I I mean it, I. I, the the version of Legoland I went to may be different from yours because mm -hmm. of our yeah. age difference. Oh, so I don't oh, know. Oh, I haven't right, been in a, right. a long time. But oh well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the, like the, there there's one uh, for me where it's like uh like 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 while you were online you could like you could like there's like a sand pit and you could like get like a cool fucking utensil like a pickaxe and you could like get like fossil like Lego fossils the in the fuck? sand while you fucking while you were in line. Holy shit! Yeah, it was yes. next crazy. level. That sounds and, great. And, and and then when you get up, you had to like climb some like stairs. And then like the the guy working it for me was always like, "It's fucking me. It's a uh, fucking Legoland. Pays me one hundred dollars. I'm the coolest big dick motherfucker you'll ever see." I was like, "Can can you say the funny Star Wars line?" He's like, "Here's the funny Star Wars line." I was like, "Oh my god, thank you." And then he he pushed me and he fucking got me on that shit and I ran and I saw a dinosaur. They were made out of Lego. They're Dude, all that's... made out of Lego. I think there was a dinosaur land area. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's that... just it's it was just marvelous to just think like I have Legos at home. I can make a thing about as big as a football if I really tried. Dude. But <laughs> these these guys have so ma much Lego bricks that I'm very jealous of the amount that they can use to build a literal <laughs> si life size dinosaur to block my path and yeah. kill me in my sleep. I love yeah. it. Dude, dude, that one green dragon ride you were talking about is my, was my favorite fucking thing. That was the first time I ever did an accidental Kegel exercise. That that was the first time I actually <laughs> I, I, I did a Kegel. It wasn't even of my own volition, but but I did a, I did I, that was the first time I ever did a Kegel. And it was fucking it's, crazy. I'm doing my Kegels right now. I do them every PCP. I, yeah, dude. <laughs> Same, bro. Gotta be trained up, dude. Gotta yeah. be trained uh, up. Gotta and be then, toned. Now, of, of course, there's 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 all the kid shit. You know, there's the baby Lego place Duplo. Disgusting. Never fucking been there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, what I always liked, like as I got older, like we, I went a couple times, like a number of times, and as I got older, I I see I I appreciated more and more the miniature village made out of lego which is like <laughs> the huge like big like a million things like tiny little, little lego people and lego cars mm -hmm. some of which have I'm going to coom it, and 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 I think uh, I remember in Windsor they did have like a Lego Big Ben you know like like yeah. landmarks Whoa. like yeah, like really impressive huge things I'm like I'm walk I'm I'm a giant right now but this is Lego and it's so small but it's like it's what, like dude, big but I'm small it's like it's the coolest fucking shit I've ever dude, seen Dude dude I mean, the the land of fucking the, the, like the, like mini land was so fucking cool for us Okay okay but but also okay you know okay I don't think you're going to have this cuz it's like a, I remember this being like a new thing that like while well, I was going to Lego land this was like a new thing that like they just came out with there, like the CEOs, like 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 John Lego was in his fucking CEO board, meeting, <laughs> and it was like, you know what would make Legoland even better if it was a water park too. And so, the, 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 is the Lego the water is, the water is made, made of, of Legos? Legos. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> So, My God! So they opened up like a new area. And it was like pirate themed, and you could go in. And there was there was like a, there was like a lazy a lazy river, and like and like the fucking like thing was like you eat like okay the, the like the tube you could get in. There was like it was like just normal rubber, but then there was like parts of the thing that you could stick your own Legos onto and just like build while you were inside Whoa. of the lazy river. And then That's and then there was this incredible. ride where you could like get on a fucking cool ass fucking slide. And then there was one where you could like ride a pirate ship and shoot fucking water at people. Okay. Oh, I so, have that. I so, remember so, that bit. So it was like this. Okay. It, okay. There's there's like a little like pool area where people just are like on you know pirate ships and they can just you know shoot other people. But then also, but also, it's like right next. There's there's like a sidewalk. Like there's like a, there's like a pathway that's like right up next to the pool. And there's like guns on the sidewalk. So if you're just like a walking by, you're not even on the ride. You can shoot the people on the ride just for like a second or two and just fucking ruin them. You can just rape them. You can just fucking kill them. And it's fucking sick. And I love Legoland. I love Legoland. Oh, I like to see the fun. You fucking Lego. 
It's Good great. point. Let's go to questions, everybody. Okay, wait, 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 wait. first question. I ha- I, I oh, have, I, I fucking no, I, got I, you. I memed you all so hard. Okay, all right, go on. Okay. <laughs> I, I have I have one more thing to say, and then I'm done uh-huh. saying things. Okay. Uh, I I remembered during the course of this that there was a very more more of a quaint theme park on the Isle of Wight, which is like an island Ooh, just to the south like of England. Just, just for no black people, right, I understand, yeah. okay. Yeah, right. yeah, well, a white <laughs> okay. with a, yeah, whatever, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it's a tiny little island, and it has this tiny theme park, which is mm-hmm. based on what the Isle of, uh, Isle of Wight is known for. It's like known for smuggling, because it's like a good place for pirates Ooh, okay. to smuggle shit. And it's called oh. Black Gang Shine. If anybody in the audience has been to Black Gang Shine, eee, eee, uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, so fucking cool. It's 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 a place my dad used to go for every holiday. He and his family would go to Black Gang Shine, and he brought me and my brothers to there. And Whoa. now there's like a like a it's like a our family heirloom is that theme park. It's great. Um, and uh, if uh, I get an image, there's Black a giant Gang Shine. You said. Yeah, Chine, like C H I N E. Oh, I'll... Chine. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and it's pirate smuggler themed, and it's just it's it's so cool. There's a giant pirate uh, smuggler a statue at the entrance, and it's they it's build not like the biggest. Smugglers. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's. I just have a lot of fond memories of it. There's like this uh, western town area, and and a, and a dinosaur place. It's not like the greatest place ever. The, but... the smugglers were well known for smuggling dinosaurs <laughs> in and out of this island. Oh, and there was this one thing. Oh, ooh, it's so scary. It was like a trick mirror thing. There was a little castle area, and you go in there, and there's this this beautiful lady behind the glass, and she's like, you listen to the audio playing. It's like, oh, I'm a lady. I'm I'm normal. I'm not evil. And then, uh, after after like five minutes of speaking. There's suddenly a scary music plays, boom, and then there's like a, a mirror trickery thing where it, she physically looks like she turns into a monster, but it's like because she's reflected from a mirror, and you can't see the mirror as you're looking through the window. So I thought, like, she's literally like an actual demon suddenly, and I jumped and I pissed my <laughs> pants and I ran away, but I love that so much. <laughs> I hope it's still there. I want to go back there when I have kids and show them and, sh- and, and show and them all, all the cool shit. them to piss their shit. pants and die. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that place so much. If anybody knows that place, that's, great. Uh, that's the coolest. Fuck yeah. Um, I, I, I have a few more points here as well. I mean, I could go out about theme parks all day. I have, I have tons mm-hmm. of memories from them. But just, you know, the most important thing I just want to comment on, uh, the, like, the restaurants and amusement parks are, like, usually shit. But, like, one of the best mm-hmm. restaurants I've ever been to, and, and people will attest to this because it's super fucking expensive, is the Blue Bayou at Disneyland. Do, do they have the equivalent of the Blue Bayou at Disney World, Nate? Do you know mm, what that it is? Doesn't, it doesn't ring a bell. I'm not sure. I'm not okay. sure. Uh, you, you all know the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, right? It's like, of course, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, uh, you know, you are on a boat, and it's sort of like a slow river. There's a little bit of uh, dips and ups, but it's mm-hmm. really just kind of like a an atmospheric uh, New Orleans sort of like a swamp setting. But inside of this ride, like imagine imagine the ride as a like a circle that's like pretty big. In the middle, in the middle, behind the trees of the ride, behind like the props of the ride, there is a mm-hmm. fucking super ass smug ass like a- anime expo rooftop soiree tier like fucking like fancy oh, okay. s- like L- Louisiana fancy restaurant inside of the ride, and you can see all the cool fucking like pirates and all like the cool like like ride people taking the ride while you're eating these fucking like million dollar steaks and like all the like Whoa. obama was there i think it's fucking crazy <laughs> it's so fucking cool it's in the middle of a right what what other place what other place what other restaurant is good and inside of a ride yeah Perfect. You gotta props for that that's pretty amazing it's fucking sick i love it oh by the way i should world mention- building uh-huh, yeah, 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 exactly. I should mention that I'm going to Disneyland on the 23rd. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, for my birthday party. Hey. Um, fuck yeah. And if it's you want to meet up sick. with Munchie, too bad, because this yeah. came out the day after. Get Hey, oh, look at Lol. Donkey Go! <laughs> <I'll>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, one last thing. Uh, uh-huh. w- w- while it's not uh, now, while it's not exactly an amusement park, I went to the Nickelodeon Hotel in Florida uh, when oh, I was a boo. wee baby. Hey, I did that too. <laughs> really? That's where we. That's where we stayed uh, during our thing. I, I think. 
our, our thing. Yeah, okay, okay, I, might, I might be confusing things up, but um, whatever. Nate, Nate, let's let's make the PCP HQ at the Nickelodeon Hotel, please. That's a good that's idea. That, yes, that suits uh, our work. Yeah. Signed, sealed, and uh, the check <laughs> is in the mail from Obama to us yeah. uh, for endorsing his hotel chain. Yes. Okay, yeah. Good. Um. Um. So yeah. So I went there and uh, no, I little just known, think... uh, his name is full name is Obama Hussein Slime uh, Obama. <laughs> yeah. His full name. Big excellent. Nickelodeon slime guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent. The, re- the reason he's so into slime is because black people are so untrustworthy and slimy that, you know, he just, like, he just carves, <laughs> he just takes some slime off from their, like, body, like, like just carves them off and, like, puts on his uh, meals. <laughs> I, I, anyway, so, like, while uh, I was at the Nickelodeon Hotel, there was, like, this big sort of, like, a, like, like, sort of, like, mini water park sort of, like, slide apparatus where you could get slimed in uh, water. Anyway, the important thing is uh, it was uh, Miami. Or around there at right. least, mm-hmm. and uh, there was like a there was about to be a thunder like storm and also probably hurricane <laughs> that was like okay. uh, like about to destroy. So they're like you should go inside probably and not be where the lightning is. That was the first time I ever played a Battlefront two, and that was also the first trip where I uh, <laughs> like like while in Florida is slightly off topic, but uh, I I uh, I saw an alligator for the first time. I was like this is my favorite thing ever, and I also got really yeah. sick because I touched one and it was like a poison. <laughs> what if an alligator was also investigating something? Yeah. Oh, look at Don't Go! Here comes the next time a Kong hero! Hey, yo! Donkey Kong, let's go, let's go! Ooh! Guys, Do we guys, have a. Which, yeah, which prostitute would you rather fuck at the Nickelodeon Hotel? Aaron As Hansen. told by Ginger or Jenny the Robot from My Life as a Teenage Jenny. Robot? Jenny Definitely. the robot, obviously. Yeah. She, I was just the, 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 her. It, it amuses me how much her popularity has Dill exploded Pickles. via porn after yeah. the show ended. Uh, mm-hmm. Dill Pickles, yeah. I, I, I would <laughs> fuck the main stormtrooper from Dill Battlefront Two. Is a fucking prostitute. <laughs> it, neither no. is Jenny. She's a classy young lady. She's a God one damn year it. old baby. Oh, uh, you know. Not an all they, grown they, up. An all grown up. He's you know, He's he's available. An all grown up. He's an obnoxious ten year old piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, he's not one. He's just ten. He's just ten. It's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, that's better, right? I would that's rather better. fuck a ten-year-old than a one-year-old baby. Right. Wait, okay. S- serious question. Uh, would it be better to fuck a one-year-old or a ten-year-old for their sake? Because if they're one, they might not remember getting fucked. But if they're ten, you could fuck them you up. Can for also life. Destroy you can't their fit your dick in a baby. Yeah, I can find a way. My, I mean, not me. It's not me. Asking for a friend here. Oh no. What no, have I done? no, there goes no our monetization. The <laughs> yeah. There goes my hero. <laughs> <laughs> as he goes. Okay. There right, goes my hero. Hey, Look at Donkey that, um, Go. <laughs> Look at Donkey <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule of threes, baby. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah, let me test it. Let, let's see if it's funny the fourth were, time. Uh, Look at Donkey Go. No, nobody left. Okay, good. Oh shit! David, what do you say? Hey, but before the recording started, you were talking about the idea of having a soundboard for the PCP that you're in control yeah. of. I would absolutely love a "There goes our monetization" sound. That would be. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great idea. That well, that's a unfortunate. Great idea. Do, do I have anything to say about fairs since they're kind of related? No, I want to go to questions. I mean, Fuck okay, you know, cool. I, I, I talked about that uh, Renaissance could, fair could, for a we bit. We could stretch that out to a whole other PCP. Yeah. yeah. Pre- yeah. Pre- press one if you want to hear a whole PCP about fair, fairs fair carnivals. specifically. Fairs, carnivals, and yeah. festivals. That'll yeah. be yeah. a yeah. Just, just one. All the places where clowns and their ilk a- a- congregate. Yeah. You know, I, I will just be an episode groups. of Only Me. <laughs> I'll invite my special guest, the Japanese Juggalo, because the Undertaler was on this one. That's an excellent idea. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let, let, here we go to questions, everybody. Uh, so here, here's one from Twitter. Uh, we wow, got amazing. You guys literally just didn't even get to me. I had a lot to say. Fuck me, oh, I guess. You, we no. can, yeah, we fuck can, to me. I agree. No, nope, it's Why too late. Why didn't you interrupt sooner now. or something? I guess we're doing uh, quick. I mean, well, uh, look, well the thing is, really, it's more like yeah, I on. thought that this podcast was going to go in a totally different direction. I thought we were going to be talking more about mm-hmm. the nature, more analysis. It ended up just being a bunch of memories. So analysis. I guess, yeah, I have <laughs> a lot a, to say about theme parks. It's not parks, a fucking man. anime for children. You can't analyze an old human. Is is a is a is a is a, hist- is a, um, a d- designer of roller coasters. He knows yes, right, how to exactly. do that. True. I'm Very I'm talking going on forever. I can talk about roller coasters forever. So yeah, I can go as yeah. long as we want. Yeah. So fucking you know, if I was at a theme park, uh, the um mm-hmm. the like the board meeting when they talk about how they're gonna invent theme parks, right? This is the origin of theme okay. parks. I would board like meeting sounds my... like a cool fun meeting if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, and I would have down my I would have put down my papers. Don't go. <laughs> I can't keep going to him. I'm sorry. I'm I would have like put down my papers and like adjusted my bifocals and looked at the guy making uh-huh. the pitch for theme parks and being like, 
Well, if people are going to be standing around for like three hours a day in lines, then this idea is not going to work. Come up with something else, you know? Because that's what I always feel like when I'm in a line at the theme park, where I'm like, this whole idea, like as much fun as I've had at theme parks, I feel like my experience with them has been weirdly mixed. And that like, I just feel like the whole idea like just it doesn't really work yet. We really need to live in like a post-singularity, post-scarcity society before theme parks can really work. <sighs> What are you talking about? They're economically viable right now, right? I, I assume they but would be. Go on to questions. This no. is a different topic. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you like, can't get away like, that easy. Like, 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 <laughs> like uh, lines are long. But what is, what, is, what are you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah. Well, what I is your like actual like? You, you buy a to... fast pass for a hundred bucks. Yeah, and exactly. just, just go in the yeah. exit and get right in the right. Or, That's what or I if do. you're with a disabled person, you can go right to the front. Yeah. Dude, Shit, I, I, abu I abused so many dis disabilities while I was at Disneyland. I abused <laughs> so many. My fucking, my, 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 my crack smoking uh, uncle is like, dude, like one time I was shot in the arm and I don't have an arm anymore, so like give me some tickets, bro. And they're like, okay. Damn. And then I fucking, I stole them from him and I did all the rides very fast. <gasps> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, um, it's like, paint it forward, ladies Because I've only been to, like, two theme parks, really, because there's only really two that are near me, and my, my parents mm -hmm. are like, why go to other ones? So I've been to those two so sure. many times that I feel like I've sort of, like, I'm I sort of, like, the uh, the illusion sort of breaks, right? So I get more of a cynical mm -hmm. view. I really want to go to other theme parks once in a while and, like, and, like do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, there's this one called Worlds of Fun, which is, like themed after the world so it's like different areas or different countries more like the most, board like, meeting like, is it like epcot kind of <laughs> i don't know but okay, it's like it was a yeah. china area a fucking yeah, America okay, area. Okay. And it's the most oh, boring scary. bog standard theming <laughs> ever and you don't even notice it because it's not even thick enough it's like it's such mm -hmm. a subtle theme you don't notice it and it's boring and stupid and like and like my my parents, which is mostly most of the time I've gone to theme parks is with my parents. They're just really bad at having fun. They like they don't understand yeah. how to have fun. Like parents they don't like to um to. they don't like to fork over the excess of money for food, so they always like pack mm. lunches and like That's walk. so not fun, god damn it. I don't I came here to waste money, god yeah, exactly. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Not to, yeah, they always you know? like walk back to the car because they don't want to take dad it to the does park. That, yeah. yeah, and I'm like why? This is so fucking stupid. Like, why? If you I don't, don't want to waste money. I would money, rather have, like, a even... yummy turkey sandwich that my mom made than an $8.50 fucking hot dog well, that I had the, to wait well, in line depends, for. I think with that, it's like, uh, sandwiches and stuff, it's it's always, like, kind of gooey and gross because it's been in a hot car or whatever, yeah. and you're like... Yeah, it's unless not, my dad always put a cooler and yeah, you I got a cool packs in it and shit, you know, so Yeah, yeah, this, you, know, you, you can do it well too. both ways. But yeah, it's like it's like all the inconvenience of camping being like crowbarred yeah. into an already expensive experience of going to a theme park. But yeah, like that that's really the big issue for me is I never want to feel like I have enough money to spend and I, it always feels like it just feels like it's constantly fighting me to spend more money. Uh, so that in combination with lines, in combination with going to the same two theme parks forever. Um, like, the other theme park we have, which is, like, four hours away, is mm -hmm. called uh, Silver Dollar City, which actually has okay. a theme, right? It has, like, an aesthetic, which is, uh, like, old-timey America, right? So, like, 1800s, mm -hmm. right? Because it was all based around a cave, because Missouri has a lot of caves, apparently. So these people, like, owned the cave back in the 50s, and they started showing the cave off, and selling tickets to it and eventually they started like having attractions on the line leading up to the cave and people ended up just watching the attractions so then they started building restaurants and then they started building rides and so eventually it became a theme park all around a cave right but it all was extrapolated off of the aesthetic of you know the uh the the uh the homesteading Americans who found the cave, right? And also the Indians mm -hmm. who also found the cave by way of falling wow. into it while fighting a bear, according to the guy guiding us through the <laughs> cave. Sick. Like, how the, who the fuck reported on that story? I don't know. Also, when we descend into the cave on their man-made staircase, they play the theme of the Empire from Star Wars, the dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum I'm like, whoa. Ooh. But yeah, it's a really why cool that, thing. Why for... that specifically? I know, right? Well, it's cool because you're going into this big cave, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, it's a cool theme park because it has all one, like, tone, one setting, and it's very consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, everything feels like old-timey America. The rides are like, um, you know, the uh, Fire in the Hole, which is like an indoor roller coaster all about fighting fires before we had, like, hoses and shit. So it's really terrifying, mm -hmm. you know? And, like, they've mm -hmm. got, like, um, uh, what's it, like... 
uh, like like a TNT themed roller coaster and so much shit like that. And uh, you know, it's also Christian too. Like I think like Christians own it. So sometimes Ooh. there can be like there can be like some Christian like there can be like some country singers at one of the uh, little Ooh. theater places. The most cr- and, the most country thing possible. Yeah, yeah, and, and like they can like incorporate God stuff, and it doesn't break Ooh. immersion because it's old timey America, right? So it like works, right? Um, I don't know where I was going with this, but like, oh yeah, they even have a, you know, they have a, like a haunted mm-hmm. house, but it's themed after, you know, like an old timey mansion and it's really cool with like a, it's got That's a room cool. where everything is like 25 degrees tilted and it's the coolest war- possible experience Whoa. of life. Yeah. Is it built on an ancient a- a Native American burial ground? Oh, it should be, man. They should like expand, like find a Native American burial ground, <laughs> go and there, do it build it. That. Yeah. And then let all the engine spirits out. And let okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I like theme parks. I just, I just, it's just like the last couple times we went to one, it was just we weren't in the mood to do a vacation, you know? Like, it's just, it's hard to get me in the mood to vacation, you know? It's just like, uh, it, it, theme parks are hard with like a family of various different ages, particularly when my sister was very small because it's like she couldn't go on any rides and my parents were too old to care to go on rides and it was like, this mm-hmm. sucks, right? I need to go yeah. with just my friends and my girlfriend, which I could probably afford to do now. I, I've never been to a theme park by myself, but I feel like I would enjoy it a lot because of, yeah. the, because of the, the freedom to just not do anything if I don't feel like it. Yeah. Like every every time you're yeah. with a person, you're like, uh, "Are you having fun? Do you want to do this? I guess we'll do this." Uh, what about you, huh? Uh, yeah. this, uh, who's hungry? Let's go get food. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I'm not hungry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're a kid, so you got to come with us. Like, well, you know, uh, uh, I I do like going. If you can go with like someone that you you know, yeah. like just like a good friend who vibes with One you well. One person or two people. Is, like like if I went with any of you right. guys, I'm sure we would have a good time. because yeah. we don't yeah. give a fuck about what the other person thinks. Yeah. And you can just tell me if you're having a problem or something, and then you know we'll I, immediately fix it. As opposed to like a you know a friend you don't know as well who just acts cagey and won't be upfront about what they want to do or whatever. You know that, that's some bullshit. I uh, treat amusement parks a lot like conventions, as I described in the convention pockets, where it's just yeah. a very this is they're much better than convention in the way it's it's just a cool way to hang out with your friends and if you invite your buddy, yeah. right, it's a cool right. time and just to do uh, things that you might die on and it makes you feel like more like brothers. Also, Davu, uh, it, once PCBHQ happens, I will take you specifically to an amusement park and we will go together. Yeah, I realize like yeah, I going go. with the PCP would be great because you guys because <laughs> even my <laughs> offline friends who I've had throughout my life and gone to theme parks with aren't good at having fun either. And my favorite thing about being in the PCP is you like there's enough people who are good at having fun. I could just coast on it and have a great time. So yeah, we, uh, yeah I'd it's love true. to do uh, Radcon uh, three should just be at a coast, theme park. Hey. <laughs> Uh, but by the way, I just wanted to say uh, you mentioned Christian themes, and I, I just wanted Ooh. to mention uh, one of the most one of the most thrilling uh, experiences I had at one of these uh, at, at an amusement type place was at the Creationist Museum, where uh, they there's a uh, so there's like an ark ride where you can just go walk in a life size recreation of of Noah's Ark. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what he actually wrote on. I, I didn't do that, but. They did give us the real scoop. Uh, there was a whole, you know, walkthrough place where they did educate us on what really went down. So just so everybody knows, uh, dinosaurs were on the ark. They were oh, there. Yeah, they just died off unrelatedly afterward. That's just, that's just so you know. That's how it went down. <laughs> I've been worried about that because I want to know if the Legoland oh. uh, ride lets out yeah. any parts about Jesus or Noah's ark. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, uh, Nate. Uh, yes. Creation Museum, did they have, like, a, a live reenactment of a monkey not turning into a human? <laughs> <laughs> Racism. Uh, yes. Uh, it was, it was How grand. How dare it was you. Grand. <laughs> yeah, they, they are... By the way, it's interesting that you that you cite a museum as a theme park because I would also do that. For there there is there is a there is like a like there is an actual real there's an actual mm-hmm. real like United States Navy like battleship turned museum because it's so fucking old called yeah. the United States Midway and uh, it's 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 docked here permanently in San Diego. It's like in a museum now, and you can walk in, you can walk out through all the the corridors of the uh, ship, and then there's like the, the, there is this one you can get like snacks and stuff too, and there's this one like ride I would. Call Call it where it's like uh, hmm. you get in this sort of like they a fire small... you out of the fucking cannon. It's yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, they like they like stuff you in like this like little like almost like bus sized uh, like virtual reality like shuttle, and uh-huh. it's just like uh, let's pretend if you know, what would happen if you guys were on World War Two? What would happen then? Yeah, let's like make like yeah. this movie about uh, like like you know it's like a virtual reality uh, ride where the uh, bus like turns and like t- uh, twists. 
uh, like, like, uh, for the twists and turns you make within, like, the video, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't actually go anywhere. Right, right. It just, like, uh, simulates, uh, what it would be like if you were making those turns. And that was fucking cool. I gotta see a lot of people die. I gotta see a lot of uh, Japanese people get kicked the fucking bucket, and it was great. Hell yeah. When I, when I was a a wee lad in the, in the Boy Scouts, um, me and my mom uh, spent a weekend, we spent a weekend on the, uh, like, on a battleship, just, like, staying there for, like, a weekend of fun and adventure and stuff and it was like one of the most fun weekends of my entire life but so that, that aside i did want to say another thing that Davu mentioned to me was he mentioned a specific line and it was attractions while you're in line and that just got me thinking about wouldn't it be great if le- if prostitution was legal and they just had actual <laughs> whores okay just just follow me here for a second okay like imagine you're in disney world right you're at Disney World and you're Lego in line, prostitute. and they got they got Disney princesses, just just they're whores, and they will fuck you, and like you can fuck Rapunzel, who I want to remind everyone is canonically 18. So even though she looks like she's 14, she is in fact 18. So uh, I was just just uh, wouldn't that be a great attraction, huh? For when you're like in line, wouldn't that be great, everybody? My fr- right. My, my 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 final feeling on theme parks, right? I mean, by the way, yes, totally. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, hope, I hope you're bouncing off my idea, but go on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's part of it, which is that I want theme parks to just be Joe. several orders of magnitude, <laughs> like more extravagant than they are. Again, post singularity, yes, exactly. post scarcity economy, is like because I because I, I know like Walt <sighs> Disney had way more fucking like ambitions. for Davoo like, is like, weird utilitarianism. Here yeah, we go again. Exactly. <laughs> Davu. <laughs> this isn't about getting there. It's about how cool it would be when we right, are right. there. And it's about cool shit, not you. like resources, not like fucking mining oil from Titan. It's about having theme parks, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Well, that's it's about what kind of faggot would cool care about tycoons. that <laughs> Yeah. But, like, yeah, you know, like, Disney himself had so many more ambitions as, as to what he wanted, like, Disney World and Epcot to be. He wanted them to be, like, actual cities yeah, like- and shit. Because people keep conceptualizing oh, really? like, hmm. like, like, like cities that are just like these little tiny areas where you walk around and you could just do everything that humans want to do in this really tight, concise, video gamey way. That's what theme parks are ultimately mm-hmm. trying to do: is make video games IRL. That's right. You know. That's right. And we just they just mm-hmm. need. To, you know mm-hmm. what I really want? I want a theme park that is like a giant thrift store slash antique shop. Right, because mm-hmm. my favorite thing okay. about those like ta- those little stores is that they are often built out of like buildings that are not meant to be stores, and they have all these weird rooms that like no one is in, and I love that. And I just want to have like a giant mansion that has rides in it, like that one weird mansion that's like in California or whatever, built by a crazy woman or whatever over the course of thirty years, and you could explore this mm. mansion and go around in all these weird rooms. Oh, I know because- what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, if I'm ever in California for long enough in the right part of California, because I know it's like the size of a fucking European nation, uh, California, I would love to visit that place. Yeah. Because, like, the thing about theme dude, parks... Dude, dude, hit me up and we'll go. Dude, yeah. Because, like, because like theme parks are cool because you conceptualize yourself going on in this adventure, but when you go there, it's like everyone's there. It's like being in a fucking auditorium. I love, I'd love to have... A, an incredibly huge mansion with so many rooms that some of which some people don't even know about, and you just walk around. I would absolutely, I would pay five hundred dollars a year t- for a season pass to a mansion that's so huge that you could find your own hallways and like no one will ever be there, and you could like jack off. Did I mention I, that yeah. I worked at uh, in Newport, Rhode Island, doing uh, like uh, tours of of like the the great Newport mansions that are Whoa. like the gigantic? Yeah, they're like they're like actual palaces, just uh, based yes. on capitalism, not aristocracy. But based it's pretty on great. Capitalism. Yeah, great. Pretty much, pretty in, much. In, in, incredible, incredible. S- oh, by s- the way, simply divine. Uh, they were simply divine. Oh, and shout out, by the way, to the Great American Mall in Minneapolis, Minnesota, that I visited uh, sometime earlier. Was that this year? I can't remember. Um, but uh, oh. that was just a big old. It's a big old amusement park inside a mall, in the like mall the center of, of the mall. Yeah, what did I say? Great American Mall. Whatever. Yeah, it's one of those things. By, I thought it was that. By Whatever. the way, I should have mentioned this earlier. By the way, uh, Nate, you said you played the clarinet and you got to go to Disneyland for like being in the, in the band. Oh World. my god, he was yes, the Bubble correct. Bowl episode of fucking SpongeBob. Oh my god. Whoa. Uh, well, that's true. Anyway, the reason, the reason I say that, Nate, is because I also played the clarinet in band, and I got to go to Disneyland for being in band. So well, I, 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 I lived the exact same life that you did. We, uh, which is weird, because Munchie is, is a SpongeBob part. and Nate is a Squidward, yeah. so you wouldn't yeah, think exactly. they would both play clarinet. I like to think of myself as a Mr. Krabs, racist and capitalist driven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just looking to to to. How is Mr. The world. Krabs a racist when he has a mixed race daughter? 
Uh, well, he's not racist that like, against that race. Just a very he, particular he, one. He fucked, oh. he fucked uh, the whale as a meme. It was a meme, so... <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Yeah, ironic. Funny. I think he we all ironic, fucked he's a whale ironically, in college. He is, L- he's listen, ironically raising his daughter. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm not here. I'm not here to profile someone, but can't you just imagine Mr. Krabs in a, in a, a MAGA hat? Can't you just imagine him? Oh, can't without you just a see doubt. him? Too? It would Simply be part of divine. his show. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. We got a question on Twitter from. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's your cue, Nate. Oh, that that's a cue. I thought you were actually reading it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. Here we go, everybody. Uh, question. What's the one I was going to read before? Where did that go? Oh, here we go. Okay, this is from uh, at Lord Lightskin. Whoa. Lord Lightskin, everybody. <laughs> um, uh, that's uh, a good uh, kind of skin to have. Uh, that's what they say. Uh, so, TB Crastinators, <laughs> uh, how would you want the world to end? How would you want the world to end? There's a lot of possibilities that are that are mm-hmm. quite alluring. Um, I'd like I'd like water to come up and then everyone to be in boats and then everyone to be become pirates. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of like a positive, like the world just changes kind of world ending. Because I was thinking like the world literally explodes yeah, yeah. by a meteor. But I like yours well, that, better. I like that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because people still live. Whatever uh, it is, I want it to be Trump's fault because that would be like the funniest scenario possible. Dude, that would be wouldn't that so play, funny, right? wouldn't, the, wouldn't the liberals be super smug about that, though? And that'd be yeah, really annoying. Yeah, no, it'd be you funny. Know? But they'd be smug, and I hate smug liberals. They're no, like the fine. most annoying people in the world. Well, I don't yeah, know yeah but I have a funny hat, so I win. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I, dude! I think I gotta go with Meteor to the Planet. Maybe I'm just thinking too much of Final Fantasy VII. But like, I've always, I've just got such a. It would look so cool if I could see it. If I could see that happening. Oh, that's just true. for that reason alone. You know, just the whole planet literally Simpsons. explodes. Maybe I'm thinking too much of Final Fantasy VII. Just the quote of your life. Is it not, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, dude. You are damn right. I would like. I was a- thinking too much of Homestuck when you said that. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, jeez. That there wasn't even a dramatic planet explosion in fucking Homestuck. We're like, oh, yeah, but the big rocks are falling. Yeah. I re- I can remember meteors falling, but the planet never blew up. It was never like that. It was it was, never it, was, it, was it was under threat of being blown up for a while. That's true. I, That's true. I think, I think I think it did canonically like get blown up. We just didn't see it. Oh wait, I thought I realized uh, the the way I want the world to end is for a uh, hive swap to come out and be good because <laughs> it'll never happen and it's yeah. shit. It's bad. I, I, I actually bad. have no idea. I just like to I mean, really, the best way for the world to end, like, technically, would be we're already a galactic civilization, blah, 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 utilitarianism, whatever. Right. And we're just sort of having <laughs> a kumbaya over it as it descends into the sun in its final days. Like, yep, it was fun, I mean, but it's, it's if dead we don't, now. If we don't learn anything new about, like, physics or any of that shit, which we, we probably will learn at least some things. Uh, but if we don't, like, yeah, like, there's no way of avoiding, uh, like, the heat death of the universe. So, uh we're all gonna, it's going to happen one day, you know, if we don't if we don't get our shit together and, and I don't know, travel to yeah, another dimension or whatever. You can in fuck billions a lot of, of years. bitches in that, the amount hey. of time it will take for the heat death of, you know. <laughs> Look at Donkey right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> We've heat got a question the universe. in the, the patron lounge. Mm, mm. Uh, Patreon.com slash something. What is it? The Procrastinators, everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you want to spend a buck to get into this smug little shitty chat room and talk to yep. all these fucking bitches, come on mm-hmm. in. You can ask us a question. A uh, McCool man wants to, wants to know if you had to body swap with any PCP member for the rest of your life, who would Ooh. it be? Hippo. And, and I should mention I should mention before uh, I, anyone says anything, uh, there's a user called Calope, uh, Calliope or whatever, and he says I would swap with Munchie because he seems the least depressed. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's all it's all, it's all an illusion. That's, I think the only answer for me would be Mage, just because it's like the mystery answer, because I don't know what she looks like. So I'm just going like, to cross my fingers and roll the die. That's the, that's the mystery box, yeah. That's a, that's mm-hmm. a fair bet. Uh, that's not a bad choice. Uh, I would go with Tom, I guess. Uh, gonna, I mean, I, I don't think so. Just because he's like the tallest, and I could fill out my frame and become a, 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 a non a, a lanklet god. That's what I would do. I would become <laughs> a, a lanklet god. <laughs> yeah, that's my, uh, that's my answer. I'd go with myself, and uh, that's it. Boo. <laughs> I'd go with his self as well. Excellent. <laughs> Much. All right. Uh, I so, think it's so, safe so, to so, say so, nobody about, wants to be Ben. I, uh, can we, I, you know what? My second act- answer was going to be Ben because Ben is genetically quite close to me, so that's, uh, that'd be you know, not, not so bad. Why not even so change bad. then? Yeah, exactly. You. But you, but you have so to, close? right? That's the question. If he had um, to? I if, 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 if I had to, I would probably be Digi because he's the closest I'd, I, to me. Uh, yeah, if okay. I had to, I'd probably go into the body of uh, Hippo. 
<laughs> he is a powerful beast. Well, yeah. if, if we're opening up to stuff like that, then I want to go into the body of the Undertaler, the most powerful man on the face of the earth. <laughs> I thought All right, well, we're getting Undertaler. out of control here. Now. Yeah, I'm yeah, offended yeah, that I, none of you I, want to be inside me. I definitely would pick Hippo <laughs> because, like, I I kind of dig the idea of being like small and skinny. Like, Hippo doesn't like it, so if he switches with me, I don't think he would mind my body as much as his own for some reason. You seem to not oh, like plus, your no, body type. You know, the whole, so there I, you go. If I could choose boom. myself, I probably would because I don't I don't dislike you being small and skinny. You can't choose yourself. Yeah, that's the whole thing. But uh, I mean, okay, so like the whole body swap question. So like, uh, I I I don't believe that a consciousness exists outside a mind. So if you transfer your quote unquote Ooh. consciousness into someone else's body, then frankly, you're just them now. So well, like, how what's about even the for the sake point? of this? The yeah, it's literally a brain transplant. How oh, about okay, that? that works. That works. Uh, I go with. I think I go with Ben. I think I go with Ben. Disgusting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He's he's already me. If I was mage, I could know what it's like to rub my clit, boys. Yeah, twiddle that clit, boys. Yeah, that's fair. That's not a bad choice. Hell yeah. I want that mage clit, baby. (laughs) Twiddle that clit. Sorry, mage. Please don't listen to this episode. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Okay, at Alan Oni uh, says, or asks, uh, says a thing. Imagine that for whatever reason, you have to go and pick up a girl. Language isn't an issue, and anyone can be your wingman. What do? Imagine yourself, boys, where you have to talk to a girl. What do you do? Uh, uh, How do you handle this situation? I would blow my fucking brains out before (laughs) I ever even approach That's the answer. That's the answer right there. Uh, (laughs) Anyone differ from that? Will we all commit suicide? Uh, I would say... Hey, baby, what's shaking? Is it my penis? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> As you then perform your okay. ceremonial okay, so you mating to, you ritual to, dance you have to for pick her. up a girl? Like, is it a date? Is he picking her up from the airport? I don't... Uh, I, I think no, he he's, he's pick just, up he's just lifting her up off the ground. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's assume he means uh, a seduce, you know, romantically mm. express her interest also, in. Also, also, my wingman will be, like, a, a bird, and, and that will be the pun. And she'll be like, oh, ho, ho, what a uh, funny pun. And, and that'll... that'll They'll That'll clinch it. it. It's not How bad. is Bill It'll Jack the combination Horseman of the funny pun and you asking her to to see your shaking penis? That will. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you hit her with a one-two punch. First you hit her with a shaking dick, then you hit her with a bird pun. It's it's uh, that's the way it works. Everybody. <laughs> that's that's just the way you do it. Uh, user the jam from the Patreon lounge. Do you piss like an animal by unbuttoning your pants and pulling your penis over your waistband, <laughs> or do you use the zipper and flap in the underwear like God intends you to pee? <laughs> I am unbuttoning your pants and pulling your penis over the waistband 100%. I never use the fucking flap in the underwear. It's fucking disgusting. And legitimately, there's no reason to do it. It just takes too long and it's too much of a fucking hassle. And it's just way easier to just whip it out and fucking spray. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Mm. I'm well, aware this is like is a the, thing the pressure, on the picture right now. Mm. The pressure from my waistband and my pants yes. pushing up stops like the, the flow of pee. So I have That's to right. do it the other way. Well, I, I, lip, I, I lift it up over the waistband. The, the waistband is just like, uh, like the, on my balls. The pressure, I, I, I know just, what you're talking about, but there's always a little bit. I, I prefer to I actually mix it up. I, I basically undo my pants. I, I under the button and I pull those down. But then I use the flap in the underwear because it's uh, that's the easiest way to do it. So yeah, that's I'm in the fine. middle. I'm in the middle. But you have to unbutton it. You have to unbutton it. You have to, like, reach in, like, find out where it is. Cause There's I'm, no it's on button different on in my underwear. Well, there, there is a button on some of mine. Actually, the ones yeah. I'm wearing right now because I'm not Your wearing Your underwear pants. has a button on it? Yeah. It does. It does. It's, f- it's fun, yeah. dude. I don't know, man. I think Some the reason do. I don't do it is I didn't even get into it until like two years ago, I think, because I'd always seen didn't it. Didn't get into peeing. I, uh, going through the t- going through the underwear flap thing, because I always knew mm-hmm. that's what it was for, oh, but I, I never thought to try it until like a while ago, and I was like, okay. But look, the thing is, you know, the last couple of drips of pee, which go backwards, I don't know how common that is. That kind of gets on the <laughs> pants if you're wearing the pants. Sure. Yeah. So I'm just like, eh. But I I still do it if I um am like. Listening to something in my earbuds on my phone, and I don't want to stop while I pee. And you know, if it's in my pocket, it's gonna to have to go all. The, you know, I don't want to like mess with it. So yeah, I uh, I just undo the flap. I just I just stick it out if I'm listening to something on my phone. Yeah. Okay. You, actually, you got this was a test, and you all failed because what you all described was that you are all doing the virgin pee. That's what you're doing. Whereas mm-hmm. I wa- I walk into the bathroom, I take my pants and underwear completely off. I stand at the urinal, bare ass to the world. I make eye contact with both people surrounding me at the same time, and I piss a fucking ocean into the urinal every single time. <laughs> That's the, the way you do it. Pee. That's now, the now Chad guys, pee, everybody. That's how you guys, do it. 
th- that's a lesson fun, but here I'm about to introduce you to the green pilled pee. This okay. is for green pills only when you've aligned all <laughs> is your that the chakras. The Jill Stein pee. Yeah, yeah. Does this, this involve this, this, this uh, the was the second dip, double dipping, or whatever, whatever it was called? Yeah, uh, 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 here's what you do. Okay. You walk into the bathroom and you go inside of the stall and then you sit down to pee. That's the secret jujitsu that fucking Donald Trump doesn't what want you to see. Fuck? He doesn't want you to know that, that you're able to do that. That should be called the blue pilled pee. That should be called the blue pilled. That's what if that. If you is. go in the stall, at least stand and piss into the toilet. Why do you have to of sit on no. it? Because Th- those because are both embarrassing. Those are both embarrassing. Well, Look, like God, it has the, the ability to pee full, standing like, up. Why not? Yeah, you can pee standing up in a stall. Well, yeah, but um, okay, but yeah. you just look like a bitch. Why are you taking up a whole stall if you if you don't have? Because what if the urinal, your urinals are full of shit? Look, I'm I'm telling right. people. I'm tell if the urinals are full, then it's fine. That's no problem at all. But if mm-hmm. you choose to pee into a toilet, first of all, you're wasting more water. You are ju- that's not green pilled at all. You're wasting more water that way. That is <laughs> that's not green pilled. Fucking disgrace. You are. I will look down upon you as a man. You are not a man. You, what if you, you're you, a shy you, peer and you just can't go in a urinal? I w- well, shy that's the thing. Peer. This is a manliness test. I want to watch you pee. I want to see you pee and study you as a man and know if you're I, worthy of my respect but if you go into a stall you're a coward and i don't respect you in in, in recent years i haven't gone on the urinal but uh, the urinal but i still i still like perceive myself as a person who goes into the stall just simply Disgraceful. because i don't know i most of the, most of the time I, I don't usually pee alone i i usually pee with poop as well Understandable. You know, yeah. Understandable. Okay. What if it's like so just like a, a trough and you don't want to pee in a trough like a pig? They're, those aren't what real. Those fuck? aren't. Those don't exist. I, they are real. Go. They're totally real. When uh, I was a kid, I was I watching really us yeah. junkies and they went to the Emmys the other day, like the the pre Emmys, not like the big important one. Yeah. And the yeah. fucking bathroom at the Emmys after party is a trough. <laughs> what the fuck? I know. You would expect uh, more something more extravagant for this crazy I, big party. I go in the stall, but it's not because I don't want people to see my penis it's it's just because i mean it's more privacy and i don't know I i'm not want like self conscious about because I, want always, look. I have too many piss triplets afterwards and there's no toilet paper at the urinal that's well, really that's a my reasonable reason. point that's, that's a really my, yeah, that's really yeah, my the reason. toilet paper isn't thing can't fault you for that uh okay uh, let, yeah or you, or let's go to our next question here. Whenever uh-huh. I'm at a urinal and, and like I have to like shake my dick to like get all the driblets out, yeah, I'm just afraid everyone's going to think I'm like jerking off into a urinal. A uh, urinal and like I'm not going to be think right. I'm jacking off into the <laughs> urinal. Yeah. You ever hear the phrase that when a man walks into a room, he takes his whole life with him? That's what I think about every time I walk into the bathroom. Everyone, witness my science. Witness my performance at the urinal. This is how you know I am a fucking man. I have trained myself. I, I've studied actual literature about how to pee properly at a urinal. I know the score, and everyone who is not up to my level, I consider beneath me See, and worth human. See, that makes you seem more self-conscious than the people who just go in the store because you actually I'm researched it, it to now make sure you're doing it, it right. I, have, I don't I, give a shit. Yeah, Ten years I just ago, do whatever I want. Yeah, do whatever you want. Hide, <laughs> hide, you cowards! Hide from the world. Hide from the light of the world. Keep Here doing goes it. Nate I with do, his I weird do either piece or. utilitarianism. <laughs> Look, right. donkey, go. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Next question, to everybody. Toilet. At Hazel Cricket on Twitter asks, "What would you consider a good gift? What are your parameters for a good Mommy. gift? Isn't that, is that bullshit about uh, wanting someone to like be heartfelt or like, oh, you made me a picture that only you could have made or?" Blah, blah, if you're gonna give me a gift shit. and not money, then I want to be like I want to be like something that you like made. That's what I yeah. want. If, so if you're you, going, if, don't okay. buy me like a thing. Just give me a thing that you made or give me money. Okay. Or, or give or give me okay. something that like you could buy, but that's like a specific Wait, thing that you think I question? specifically would like. The, the question is, what would you consider a good gift? But feel free to talk about bad gifts either. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, it would be uh, uh, something that uh, would be me like and Sheep over are watching through. Oh, go ahead. Something that would be very, very like useful for a very mm-hmm. long time, but would never be able to like mm-hmm. get around to buying, like justifying the expense of. Like my parents for Christmas, yeah. several Christmases ago, got me a like a a waterproof Bluetooth speaker so that you can like listen to like music okay. or podcasts while taking a shower, and it is fucking awesome. And if it ever breaks down, I'll buy a new one in a heartbeat. But when I had the idea to have one, I was like, "Mm, I don't know if I'm going to use that enough. I just don't know. I don't want to drop the money. So someone breaking that damn, like, 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 violating that inertia for me was, like, great. 
The great thing about the gift thing is that it's a certain amount of money that, like, will be spent, and you just get to decide on what you have to spend it on. So it really gives you license to, like, I mean, if you can get, the, like, I do this with my parents all the time. Like, they ask what I want, like, for my birthday or whatever, and then they'll buy, like, I mean, a couple of years ago for Christmas, they got me, like, the camera that I use for, like, every video now. And, like, that was, like, I paid for, like, half of it, but, like, we worked out a deal. Just because, like, they want to get me something I actually care about and like. So, like, that really emboldens you or kind of forces you to purchase things that you were maybe on the fence about. That's honestly how I think about gifts. You know what? No, also, I, have I never give answer. gifts to anyone. I don't have to. I have a okay. real answer. What's that? The best gifts are gifts that are not given on birthdays or holidays because I realize I always get excited. Oh, surprise gifts. I always get excited. Mm -hmm. not, not even like a surprise, but just something like, uh, you know, we're at a store like, oh, that thing looks cool. I'll buy it for you. Really? Oh, my gosh. Acquaintance of mine or a person who I know and love. It's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Then it always feels correct. That how That's how giving feels like it should feel to me, whereas the uh, obligatory mm -hmm. holidays, they never feel right to me. Yeah, yeah pretty, I, I was gonna broke. say something along those lines, where mm -hmm. like I, I, like a birthday or something, it feels like it'd be expected. But when you get something randomly from somebody, it, it means a lot more to me. And I was saying that I, I me and Steepover started watching season one of True Detective because she hadn't seen it, and more I like pointed Poo out Detective. <laughs> I pointed yeah. out that uh, the big hug mug that Matthew McConaughey is using as an ashtray was like a meme hmm. on hmm. 4chan for a while. And right. then, like, three days later, one shows up in the mail, and she's like, oh, yeah, I bought one for you. And I was like, oh, well, fucking shit. And now I'm drinking Aww. out of my big hug mug right now. It's, it, I'd rather get it randomly than on my birthday, because then it's like, well, I, I guess you had to get me something. That's true. I just yeah, never yeah, expect the, kindness from anyone. So, uh, you know, that's, the, that's where the, I'm at. The way I feel about <laughs> stuff like that is that I would like to be a person who gets gifts randomly for people and, and doesn't have to do birthdays. But that's not how it works, because yeah. they always expect it. So I feel like uh, to be a person who's that generous, you just need to give gifts way more. And I'm I'm not like that. I'm evil. I, just, I, don't, I never I don't. buy gifts for anyone that I can avoid doing it for. You know why would yeah. I? I don't I don't get it. It's not my thing. I just don't not about that life. And so I can't expect it to be done to me. Oh yeah, I never Ugh. want gifts. No one ever get me a gift. Uh, it's not it's not good. But see, like the people who do like the with the PO box shit I'm doing, like they're getting something in response. They're getting like my the, the their presence in the video. So like that's an equivalent exchange going on, I think. So uh, yeah, there you go. All right, uh, uh, any more questions from there, or shall we no, take another one? No, there's here? no more. No, okay. Uh, there's none on Twitter or nah. on Patreon. Nah, yeah, we're all bad. done. All these suck. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Here, here's one last question. Uh, J.H. The Hurricane asks, Aliens find us and lay siege to our planet. They'll destroy us unless we bring them the best YouTube video ever. What's that video? The Fucking aliens Japanese are these. Juggalo I episode one? <laughs> the, dude, uh, the, the, the aliens will be like sitting like like conjuring super hard and they'll be like, show me your greatest piece of work. And then and then I'll like scurry off and I'll come back. And then they'll be like, like, like put on their headphones and they'll be anticipating there's complete silence. Mm -hmm. And then, and then quaking from inside of their fucking headphones. Hello, fans. <laughs> it is me, D. And, they, and their ears fucking burst and their mind explodes. <laughs> and, and they're all notes. dead instantaneously. Uh, you know what I do in this situation? I would just lean over, I'd cock my eyebrow knowingly and just say, have you ever heard of a little guy called Leafy? That's where I would go. Yeah, that's, that's my Because he uh, is uh, here. I would say he is here. He is here. Uh, I would say uh, Digi Brony After Dark Pony <laughs> Hypnosis. Boo. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I tweeted that, that the other day. It was not like a like like scary ghost. That wasn't a boo. <laughs> that was just a ghost sound. Boo. It's the ghost of Digi um, in the past when he actually made Brony content and it was good. Unlike his new <laughs> bullshit <laughs> he yeah, it now, now that sucks. What what garbage. Garbage. I don't know what he's done to the editing, but like all the anime videos, whoever's editing that shit, it's awful. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he's done to the videos. Like, like now instead of like having point characters on screen, it's all just like humans now, and they're what all the like really animated. They the don't call look at show everybody. <laughs> <Yeah. out. laughs> <laughs> did we not leave because I said that joke? Did he? I have no I, idea. Who I, knows, I, man? I think, we'll find out one day. I think there's no way. I, I mean, it's way funnier if it was uh, just coincidentally he yeah. dropped out. You know what? That's good. Let's Divu, leave it Just so you know, right. I've never actually watched the Digi video, so my criticism <laughs> doesn't stand because I don't know if the editing is shit. No, no, no. Don't backpedal. We know. We know. We know, <laughs> we, we, we know, your, we know your secret. <laughs> okay. You've been waiting to take down Devu this entire time. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, everybody. That's it. That's the last of questions. Okay, so remember, send us more throughout the week whenever you fucking want to using hashtag AskPCP. And if you follow us at, at TPCrastinators, uh, we'll remind you every fucking and, Saturday when we're doing And donate to our Patreon. If you donate $1, you can get into the Patreon Lounge. And if you donate 5 you can get the fucking cool-ass hey, bonus Davu's episode. Hey, back. Yep. Hey, Davu came back. Has your emotions Yo. healed? I can't yeah. hear him. Okay, he, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's saying. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're wrapping up anyway. So yeah. <laughs> uh, be a patron. Get the bonus episodes. Six episodes are out right now, people. There will be another one in like uh, like a, a week and a half after this comes out, I think. So there you go. Hello. So we'll see everybody next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Also buy the merch. Oh yeah. Bye <laughs> yes, buy bye. the merch. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to.